Yep, welcome back everyone. Another episode of Top Shelfers Podcast. This episode is sponsored by Hepius, uh, number one place to go for premium CBD that won't break the bank. It is locally owned and sourced here in Utah. It's safe for work, meaning that it's THC free, so you don't have to stress on that. And they do have something for everyone I'm personally using right here. The Broad Spectrum, um, it's been making me feel a little bit more uppity, give me a little bit more energy. Um, I'm enjoying it so far. Head over to happiestmed.com, that is H-E-P-I-U-S-M-E-D.com. Thank you. Woo-hoo. Legends Night. Legends. Legends. So, for those of you who don't know the cast, you're fucking up because regulars on... How many times have been here? Yeah, oh, no. <laughs> regulars on many different fronts, including Read Between the Lines... Polycast mess around, true crime drunks, pretty much everything. We do, a, I do. A, I was thinking about it the other day. I was like, damn, I really do a shit ton of podcasts. Yeah, mm-hmm. all the time. Yeah, really and podcasting I'm, it up. I'm really yeah. not even mad. It's fun. It's fun. It is fun. That's like you know um, when people always talk about they're like uh, when you say funny things with your friends, you're like, oh wow, we should make a podcast. You should because yeah. the thing is, is it's fun. And also, you kind of, like, learned not, like, you know, you don't really give a shit. So it's just kind of like, oh ho And it's just a good time. You meet some great people. I think that's the best part of it is it's just, like, I don't know how many cool people I've met now just doing this that I probably never would have if mm-hmm. before, you know? I've, yeah. Like, how many stories do you got now? Oh, yeah. tons, tons. 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 Tons of stories. <laughs> tons of stories. Speaking of stories. Hold on, I'm going to go find Dolly. Oh no. Is she lost? She's here? She said, I think I'm here. Oh yeah, just wander on out. Allie. Speaking of freaking legends, yeah. Allie's gonna be waltzing up in this place in a second. Yeah. We haven't seen her in a hot minute, so I'm excited to kind of know what uh, how her life is going lately, yeah. honestly. I mean, no, it'll be the first time that we're at full book club capacity and like... In a long time, huh? Almost like mid COVID? Yeah. 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 Because we all, like, either have been quarantined, been working, just a bunch of other stuff mm-hmm. going on. Because, honestly, COVID has been really messing shit up. Yeah. Hasn't changed much either. And that's okay. What about what? Well, um, most of my stories are from high school, so... That's all right. I dressed as high school Allie. <laughs> nice! With the vest with just like a small tank top underneath. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You can... I even have the handprint on the ass. Ooh! <laughs> nice. Classic. Classic. The recreation of pants that I genuinely wore. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Come on, Papa Squat. Papa Squat with Papa Squat. I was just saying this is the first time we've been full, full, full cast. Full cast in a long time. I'm sorry. My work schedule, I see no one. No, I get it. <laughs> it's understandable. You know, sometimes you just gotta work. It's like, you got, it's like you have bills to pay or something. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> she got rent. That's adult. insane. Ugh. Oh my gosh. Responsibilities. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. It's like a hard pass with all of that. Yeah, no. It's just not... like, no thanks, man. Not a fan. Not a fan. Yeah. That's I, for sure. If I could just make the same amount of money that I make now, but like without working, Ideal. Oh, ideal. Perfection. That would be pretty cool. Mm-hmm. And even if, like, housing and food was free. And, like, you would yeah. pay for the other stuff. So you had a part time job, like, yeah. two yeah. days a week. Done. Yeah. See, that's. Within a heartbeat. Like, honestly, like, if I got a million dollars right now, I just basically work a part time job and just invest my money for the rest of my life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's all I would do. It's like I'm also a finance major, so I know what I'm doing Ooh. when it comes to that. <laughs> Got ourselves, Let me invest uh, your money for you. you know, uh, <laughs> money made, handler. I've made several thousand on Dogecoin. Let's go. Really? Oh, oh the fucking Doge. Yeah. Yeah. I was in on Doge when it was like way before it was even a penny. Yeah. So I've just been holding and. Oh my gosh. I, I literally was thinking, mm-hmm. like, when I saw people doing it, um, I was talking to a friend and he was like, Yeah, I don't know. I've been thinking about like buying in on it, but I can't figure out how, because it was also during the same time that there was the whole uh, GameStop mm-hmm. thing going on, and so oh. he's like, so all of like the apps and things that I would be buying from kind of like completely shut 
down and like yeah. locked real tight because they were worried of everything. Yeah. They're like, oh, these Reddit bitches are really <laughs> messing stuff <laughs> up. Ah. There's some real savages. Coming ah. in clutch. Yeah, I heard some people made some like crazy big money. Oh yeah, oh yeah. The guys who got in on GameStop super early, they made like hundreds of thousands, if not millions. Yeah, Stoney was pissed because he was going to buy GameStop uh, stock last year when they filed for bankruptcy mm-hmm. because it was super low. And he was like, "There's no way GameStop doesn't come back. They're like the biggest game, like the biggest video game retailer. There's no yeah. way they're not mm-hmm. going to make a comeback." And I was like, "Okay, well, I don't care." At the time, I like was <laughs> no, like, "I don't know, just do what you want." And then he <laughs> ended up mind. not buying it, just like out of like not because he like made a decision necessarily, but because he just was like. Uh, it's not really a big deal. I don't think it's really going to go up or down. And now he's oh. like, fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, are you kidding me? I literally had minuscule shares in it, but it was because I go through the Stash app, mm-hmm. and um, I have my just regular um, like investment portfolio, and then I have like my like Roth IRA and stuff like that. But in my regular investment, I do kind of, they get like a bunch of different shares, for like specific things and so I have uh, I don't know a few and it's like gaming mm-hmm. that's specifically what it's from so it has like GameStop and like you know a bunch of different stuff like Xbox and all that different stuff but it's like minuscule shares in like each of them because mm. it's just supposed to raise it up because I mean I put like minimal money in there right. I put like maybe 10 bucks like every other week or something like that just to keep raising it but mm-hmm. I mean just from I think I had five bucks and it just from that it went up to probably like 30 no. 35 mm-hmm. and i was like whoa look at that making bank <laughs> <laughs> big money there. here <laughs> you're sitting there with a glass of whiskey just stonks stonks <laughs> come to me when you're making big money <laughs> sir <laughs> then we'll talk then we'll talk <laughs> and i've always just used robin hood and yeah but now I probably have to get out of there because you might get a lot oh, yeah. of trouble over this mm-hmm. go to stash I really like them. Yeah. Honestly. I use Acorns too. Acorns is a Acorns. little different, but yeah. Acorns rounds your money up every time you use your card. So if it's like odd change, you'll round it over to your Acorns and then invest it and God knows what. I, I, I like that, but I also, I don't like because you don't get to choose what you invest in, you know? Mm-hmm. But it's also nice because you don't really notice the money leaving right. when it rounds everything up. And so, yeah. I just like my bank accounts all like zero, zero. I'm like, like mm. Numbers. <laughs> but yeah, legendary, legendary Legend. stories. Mm-hmm. Yes. I mean, mm-hmm. I didn't know which route to go for myself because I have funny legendary stories about me, and then I have mm-hmm. like some cool ones. Yeah. So I opted to go funny. I think we should go bold. Yeah. Then you get yeah, depressing, both. and you're like, "Oh, that's so sad." Oh, depressing legendary <laughs> and <then> stories. Funny. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, we got a lot of those. Okay. We're like wiping tears. <laughs> no, that's why we've got to do both. You gotta yeah. get the audience of flavor. You start your yeah, morning clothes taking a cold shower. <laughs> so you know yeah. you made a good point in life. <laughs> I feel like that, just like getting up, still some twigs in your hair, and getting in the shower, cold water, fully clothed, should just be a commercial for Jaeger. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> that reminded me of a legendary story. Because we were also, so we were texting earlier because we were like, I can't think of like legendary stories like for ourselves. Yeah. In a sense. yeah. But then we're like, we all know legendary stories, like, you know, at least like we like about each other in a sense. Yeah. And this one is about Allie. Look at this. Okay. <laughs> I feel weirdly like I'm about to get roasted. Yeah, it's kind of a roast. <laughs> <laughs> no. and specifically, um, the cold shower with twigs in your hair made me think of this. So, <laughs> this was mostly, um, so one time, this is, uh, this is the test story. If you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> is this okay to t- say? Okay. <laughs> I just want to run it past. <laughs> um, so basically, me, Allie, and um, oh, I already said her name, but and another girl used to all be super, super close during like early high school, like mm-hmm. all through, because we all lived close to each other. Mm-hmm. And um, then once college hit and stuff, we kind of all did our own thing. I kept in contact with Allie and then also yeah. with Tess on occasion. And uh, <laughs> she came, <laughs> she was in college like. Uh, where where did she go? Utah State. Yeah, Utah yeah. State. And so 
Um, she was a ways away, and we would hang out a lot. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so then she texts us, and she's like, hey, I'm coming back for a bit. We should all hang out. And <laughs> we were like, we were like, yeah, totally. Uh, you want a drink? Because we also have been, like, you know, drinking at the time. And all yeah, this stuff. And she's we like, were, like, right out of high school. This was yeah. prime drinking when you still didn't really get a hangover. Mm. And oh, you were yeah. also a lightweight, so you just went ham. Well, yeah, because, like, you goodness. didn't get a hangover because you're such a lightweight that you didn't get enough to get a hangover. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, well, at least for me, because I, remember, I don't remember getting a hangover until I was, like, 20. Yeah. And I was like, mm -hmm. oh, it's because I'm... Hardcore drinking now. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, because you know we're kind of up in the ante on this. <laughs> really, really coming in clutch here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we basically, she was like, "Yeah, yeah, I drink." We found out she did not drink. <laughs> Classic. She, she still doesn't like, drink. She still doesn't drink that. Not all that much. She's also she's very very tiny. She's tiny tiny. She is, she is a like twig. She's person. a teeny tiny person. And so, um, uh, you know. Not a whole ton of liquor to make you like upsetty spaghetti. Yeah, <laughs> probably yeah. like probably like 115, 20 pounds. Yeah, yeah. So like teeny tiny, and mm -hmm. um, probably more because that's how much I actually I weigh. Oh, I weigh well, she's also taller than you. Oh, that's yeah. fair as well. So yeah. she's almost as tall as me. She's like almost like five ten or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. she's also really tall. And um, wait, who is that? Who said hi? Hey. Hey. Hey, 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 baby. baby. How you doing? What a hey, baby. <laughs> hey, baby. Um, but she comes over, and we're all like, all right, yeah, let's all drink. And then we also, I forgot this is the same night. Um, a bit ago, <laughs> Allie and I wanted to give each other to stick and poke tattoos. Yeah. And I was like, I can't reach this one. That's the one on my back. And mm -hmm. uh, I was like, I can't reach it. I'm going to need you to do it. And so she did it. She also didn't really know how to do it. Oh, and no. so I was laying on an exercise ball eating cherries while she's like As stabbing a needle into my back, trying to get this weird, funky flower to look right. And, yeah. um, and then she's like, she's like, all right, my turn. And I go to do it. And I do like maybe five dots. And she's like, no, I can't. I can't. <laughs> Straight up, whipped out, hardcore. I was like, fuck this. Nope. Uh-uh. <laughs> Quick side story. I had a Z on my side for the longest time because it was just unfinished. But I was too embarrassed because in high school, I was like, yeah, I'm cool. I'm tough. Come at me. So I was always too embarrassed. So whenever anyone asked about it, I would be like, what? I would just like play dumb. And there was this one girl I dated who was like, no, it's really weird. You have a Z. And I was like, huh, that weird. must be a birthmark. <laughs> oh, no. So for the longest time, she had a Z on her back from that. And I and so, basically, we all are hanging out that night. We all tar start taking shots, and Tess starts mm -hmm. talking about, like, her really shitty boyfriend. Yeah. Yeah, remember? Oh, he was such a dick. <laughs> such oh, a my dick. God. She literally, she maybe took two shots and immediately mm -hmm. started, like, puking in a bowl. Yeah. And uh, we were like, oh, well. And she drunk calls this boyfriend of hers in college, and he immediately, instead of asking, like, you okay? He's like, so you guys they have some lesbian sex with him? <laughs> <laughs> you guys like kissing and stuff? <laughs> wow, he really shot his shot. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes. <laughs> and we were like, what the fuck? And she's like trying to talk to him and she's like sobbing on the phone and all this stuff. And then he mentioned something and she's like, oh yeah. And then looks at Allie. <laughs> And goes, I've been in love with you. You've broken my heart. <laughs> because you didn't, like, she's like, because I thought, she's like, I thought you were straight. And then you started dating a girl. And then you were straight again. <laughs> and we're just sitting there, 
staring at her like <laughs> well then Allie's also like she's like cracking open beers while I she's listening to this straight up <laughs> this started happening and I was like nope <laughs> this is over for this and I'm just sitting there in between them like watching this go down like what Am I on a sitcom right now? <laughs> That's what it seems like. What is going on? And she's like, I don't know. Then she starts like speaking gibberish and stuff and just being like, why do you love me? Like that sort of stuff. Yeah, she, <laughs> like a friend that like you've kind of lost touch with. Yeah. Clearly nothing ever happened. This friend sits you down, looks you in the eye, drinking together. You think it's going to be a good night. And they're like, I loved you. Why didn't you love me back? Oh my god. What the fuck did you say to that? (laughs) We were just like, uh, mm, uh, (laughs) and then she like basically like, I don't know, like passes out basically almost immediately. And I (laughs) look. Wait to clarify, two shots in? Yeah, like two shots. Two Two shots. shots. And Allie, I think we got up to 10. Yeah, we got a good amount of shots, but then you started chugging your beers. I did. And I was like, I'm not a beer drinker. And I was like, I also got to stay somewhat sober because you're like, you look at me and you're like, all right, I'm drunk enough to finish this tattoo now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and so the thing is, is also I'm completely shit faced. And all, the only thing I can think about in my mind is the, the flower on my back. And so I give her the same flower. Perfect. <laughs> as I'm doing it, as she's chugging beers, as I'm like going around. And the next thing you know, I kind of stopped because I realized that she, like, Allie was not coherent. And I was like, oh no. And then you like, she looks at me and goes, do you have a shower? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I have a shower. You know I have a shower. And you're like, mm. and you get up. And you, like, make your way to my shower, which is also a um, very fancy, like, open-air French shower. Okay. Um, very fancy. And she, I, like, follow her because I'm kind of like, what's going on? And she goes and she lays down in my shower. <laughs> <laughs> and then she starts, like, puking oh, and stuff like no. that. And I'm, like, just standing there in the bathroom watching her. And I'm like... Allie, uh, let's get you to bed. <laughs> and you're like, mm-mm. And so then Mother Cassidy stepped in, and I, I gave her a shower. I washed her hair. Oh, I washed her hair and everything. I remember the day after, she's like, what conditioner did you use? <laughs> <laughs> okay, but my hair was so just, like, perfectly wavy. Best... Best conditioner to this day. Yeah. Honestly, it, it looked good. It looked good. I did good. And then I think I gave you some of my pajamas or something, and I was like, feeling good? I tried to feed her bread. Was not working. No. Just, no, was not working. And I was like, all right, we just need to just get it all out, buddy. <laughs> and then I, like, put her to bed in uh, my bed next to the other passed out friend, <laughs> and I just kind of, like, mm. Huh. And I just kind of soak it in. Soak in the experience, you know? <laughs> You're like, yes, this is, this is how it be sometimes. This really, uh, be. really be like that. <laughs> huh. Interesting. And then in the morning, she tried to get... Oh, no, actually, she got you to drive her home. Yeah, um, apparently college. at some point at in that night, I threatened her boyfriend numerous times and graphically and then I promised her a ride and then she woke up and I was like oh man do we have to talk about this I didn't remember anything else just that I love you and then I was like nope and that's pretty much where I stop remembering because I remember just like chugging but she was like yeah I mean you promised me a ride and I I don't know if you're uncomfortable with how you're feeling towards me. I guess it's fine if you don't give me that ride. I'll just go home. Oh, my, no. my boyfriend, maybe I'll take the bus. I don't know. Wow. And it's I was like, again. okay, fuck it, fine. I'll give you a fucking ride. And then I had a, a very awkward conversation with her and the boyfriend. Oh no. It's like, what do you say? It's what do you like, say? Yeah. To the boyfriend of the girl who just confessed her ever loving love for you? 
What you like, well, yeah, you just kind of go, hi. <laughs> I walked in and you know that orgy energy where everyone's like, yeah, I mean, I'm down if you're down. I'm down for anything. It was that energy when I walked in. I was going to say yeah. you should just have that power struggle and walked in there and cucked them for sure. <laughs> I mean, really I, established dominance over the room. <laughs> I did make fun of him for most of the time, and then you just stopped talking, and then I was like, okay, I'm out. <laughs> Gotta go. You're like, this, is, this go. has been fun. No. No, hasn't. Have not seen her since. Oh, no. <laughs> That's insane. No, and that literally <laughs> ever since. I'll still see her on occasion, and she'll ask me about it, and I'm like, mm. she's like, you ever, you ever seen Allie? And I'm like, no. yeah, on occasion, <laughs> sometimes. I think she writes like yeah, I think she's doing these good. love stories of how she just hopes one day and then she's walking on the beach, retired, and you just like long lost lovers cross paths. Ali like, fanfic. Yeah, Ali <laughs> fanfic. She also used to write friend fictions. Oh, you know she this did. happened. Then she for did sure. remember that. Yeah, remember that? Yeah, I do. I was oh. a general with one arm one time. Oh, <laughs> I remember that. I think she's oh, my daughter. <laughs> They're pretty funny, honestly. <laughs> oh. But yeah, that's my legendary story of an alley night. Oh, I have one. Uh, we threw a party a bit ago, and Allie, with like our like regular friends, but Allie's like not within um, that group most yeah. of the time. Yeah, um, I'm an outlier. Yeah, but we invited her because we were like, yes. We want you there. It's going to be such a good time. Don't worry. Nothing weird happens. We just have a really good time and we drink a lot. And she was like, yes, this this is great. Yeah, obviously. We spent the whole fucking weekend together, okay? The whole weekend. (laughs) Friday to Sunday. The whole weekend. Oh, weekend. Mm -hmm. Well, Allie was feeling a little hungover on the first day that we were there. And it was New Year's Day, okay? It was New Year's Day. It was. was And I went ham New Year's Eve. Which is fair. So she not only drove the two and a half hours to get there, but then was there and everyone was fucking (laughs) shit-faced at some point, right? So Yeah. 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 And the thing is, uh, eventually... We've been drinking a <laughs> lot. <laughs> oh! <laughs> and Allie was still sleeping. <laughs> and, you know, I don't know. I was fucking naked. Just in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, you were. Okay. Wait, wait. Can I just <laughs> say <laughs> how I came down? Yeah, I yeah, yeah. Give us person. your palm, you know, point of view. Basically, so, just a preference. Before Allie came down, one of our other friends was also sleeping who also probably had one of the same experience, but there was probably a majority of us that was um, playing a strip drinking game, and everyone was pretty much naked at that point. Yeah, pretty much everyone was naked, but I was, I think I was the only person that was fully naked at the time. fully nude. Other than Nate. Unfortunately. Oh, well, Uh, Nate was too. Nate was fully nude. But, Allie, how was it coming downstairs? (laughs) So, I, you know, I expected, I've seen y'all Snapchat. I definitely expected a fully nude Nate at some point. Yeah. yeah. That yeah. I knew right away. I was like, hey, that's going to happen. Yeah. But I wake up and then I go downstairs. And it's like a downstairs. And I walk out and I just look over. And there is a kitchen full of naked people. <laughs> who all at once stop talking and then just look at me like i'm a parent who just walked in on them boning for the first that's time that's exactly how it feels we, we all like and then like i was just standing there fully clothed like what hey guys <laughs> like hi <laughs> most of this pe- most of the people at this party this was like their like first or second time meeting Allie. Yeah. yeah. Oh. It's like, yeah, a majority of them, it's like their first time basically. Yeah. yeah. Or like their second time technically, but they met her like way before. Like and- maybe on one of our birthdays, like pre quarantine. Yeah. Yeah. Like- yeah, yeah, like a hot minute ago. Yeah. yeah. Hot minute ago. <laughs> so they all like, we all just like look and go, oh, hey. You feel a better now? <laughs> <laughs> everyone is like titties out and everyone's yeah. like <laughs> and we're all like I, I remember grabbing on multiple occasions going like this and being like I can cover both of my nipples like this <laughs> and I was like impressive no <laughs> I just like the whole thing like 
Oh, it's just gonna be a normal weekend. <laughs> Nothing <laughs> too crazy. <laughs> I mean, we told her we would get wild, but like. <laughs> Okay, but like, she was not prefaced to walk in and yeah. not be okay. naked. I will say, though, we came up with the best drinking game. So we basically played Simon Says, and the last mm -hmm. person, so like, say, oh, like, it was, the, the it was really fun. So basically, <laughs> was like, really fun. whoever was the last person to either, and this was the rules, too, you can either take off an article of clothing or take a shot. Hmm. And or, so, like, or drink your drink. Or, like, drink, or drink your drink. drink. Yeah. No, we did shots. I think we did shots at first, and then shots. once it got a little, once we were like, I can't take another shot, you guys, we're like, yeah. okay, we're we'll drink a drink or uh, <laughs> naked. I'm the reason saying. everyone ended up naked was because we couldn't drink anymore. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> <drunk>. that's a hundred percent fact. But yeah, yeah, but basically it was like, so it was like, last person touched the ceiling, we'll and then everyone has to jump, this. and the last person to jump touched the ceiling lost. And so it was a fucking good <laughs> idea really for a drinking game. game. It was a really yeah. good mm -hmm. game. This is also active. You know, yeah. active. Yeah, put everyone involved. <laughs> but when you're naked and you're running across the room, I mean, <laughs> yeah, a little <laughs> less so because then it's just a bunch of naked people running across the but kitchen, like, trying try not, not to cringe, trying not to touch each other. <laughs> yeah, trying to be like, because we're also like, don't be gay, bro. <laughs> <laughs> there were <was, laughs> like, there was multiple times where I was like, grab an ass, but I couldn't like be grass, so I was like, grab an ass, and everyone was like. Sorry, bro, I have to touch I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> We're like, I can't take another shot right now. I have to touch your ass. To touch your ass. So it got a little gay, but in the name of the game. Yeah, the name of the game gay. I would have just gay. loved to have seen that moment when you walked downstairs. <laughs> and just like... It was the best. It was so fucking It was funny. so fucking funny. And it was also then funny because then, what, like 30 minutes later, Kai <laughs> came down. And it was so funny because he was also like so sleepy. Like he was like kind of like looking down. Like he didn't want to look at anyone's boobs, but like there was just boobs everywhere. Yeah. But, but yeah. then at the same time, both of them just joined in. Yeah. <laughs> they were like, they were like, all right. <laughs> to jump in the game. Yeah, <laughs> might as well. You know? But the thing is, both of them were sober. Yeah. Also. And they we were, were all like, like we're, we're gone. Fucking <laughs> trash. To be fair, as a sober person walking in, I did very poorly. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah. <laughs> you did. I'm sorry. It was so fucking <laughs> funny, though. Because it was like... Oh, dude, because I was just fucking wasted. I think that's also because you're not, you're not, you're fearless when you're yeah, wasted. Because yeah, you're like, yeah, I don't care if I break a knee, I don't want to drink. Yeah, you like oh, slide across the floor. We were desperate not to drink, and Allie was like, yeah. I can drink. Yeah, she's like, I mean, you know. Okay, I'm wearing multiple layers. Also, coming. I was told from the get go it was take a shot and remove clothes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that sounds like us. Yeah, you, you fucking got God. <laughs> take off their clothes but like also you have to drink there has to be some sort of consequence yeah. so then Allie comes out and we're like you're sober you get both <laughs> like, welcome to Thunderdome yeah. <laughs> welcome to the pit motherfucker <laughs> listen by the end of the night we had two dicks and a coochie out I think that's a win yeah, facts a win. facts but also none and of us had ever seen each other naked before Aside oh. from the girls. Yeah, yeah. I well, mean, like, I, we like, all had seen each other like, naked. And, like, some of the boys that, like, would strip to, like, be funny, like... Sure. Yeah, like, everyone would, has most seen Most everyone naked. in the room had <laughs> not seen each other naked, and so it was so... The next day... Oh, my God. Was, like, the next morning was, like, everyone walks over, like... Hey! <laughs> and they're, like, trying not to look us in the eyes because they have seen our tits. They're like, I'm trying to be respectful. How can I bar how can I barter shots later to see your tits again? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> actually. So hundred percent what happened. Uh, As a collective girls, we all got together and showed boobies for the boys to get more drunk. And yeah, they did. Because yeah, they're being pussies. Oh, I got to slap <laughs> someone for it. Yeah. James oh. did. Yeah. <laughs> that was he he kept saying I'm, I think I'm quoting this almost exactly. <laughs> Why aren't all the biddies out? We gotta get all them biddies out. Because <laughs> he called them biddies. <laughs> yeah, we can't. That's why we keep saying biddies because he literally, like, and he also I, said it in, like, a serious it's manner. It's so funny. And even the next, the next morning, he was like, Dude, I, I was like in this room, like next to the kitchen, <laughs> so I could hear everyone's conversations in the kitchen. He was talking to someone. He's like, "Dude, I saw so many biddies last night." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember we were all like eating breakfast and stuff like that, because that's like we make like this. 
thing we do is like an annual thing, and we make it an event. So we have like we have dinner, we have a shit, we get shit faced every single day, basically, and yeah. we just have a bunch of food and just yeah. activities and stuff for us to do in the middle of nowhere, and yeah. 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 it's yeah. super fun. And um, I remember him walking out. We're like eating breakfast, all just a little hungover. And we're all like, comes out, and he's like, I just want to say. You all have great biddies. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that happened, and I literally was like, "Do you think? Yeah. Okay, do you think that who did you say this was? James. James. <laughs> do you think that he just like, as he gets older, this is gonna be like his like grandfather to grandkids story? Yeah, 100%. this one time. Oh, yes, I saw six pair of biddies all night. <laughs> all night, and they're like, "Grandpa, no, you don't know how to anymore." <laughs> You youngsters don't know how to party. We partied. <laughs> we oh, we partied. I saw so many videos in one night, <laughs> and all at the same time. <laughs> but I won the game because I kept she my did. bra on Back the did. entire she time. I even kept my pants on. Yeah, yeah. 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 And you were just well, in your pants and your bra. Because we had then the rule of socks, and the thing is, because mm-hmm. like a lot of reason why, like especially Stony took forever to get naked because he had. Two pairs of shirts, naked. two pairs of pants, two pairs of socks, and then... It's like he went in knowing the game. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, he, like, just, I know he just, happen. literally, even at home, he wears two pairs of sweatpants at a time. Oh. He just loves like, layers. Yeah, he likes layers, and he's like, oh, I like to feel snuggled all the time. Oh, okay, <laughs> like, okay. I get that. It's okay. <laughs> when you put on that perspective. Yeah. Aww. Aww. But you gotta smack him for... Yeah, um... For ten <laughs> seconds of taking my bra off, I don't think he even looked at me. You he fucking, was that you drunk. Knocked, she knocked his jaw out of place, basically. Good. She felt a click. And he just, I literally see him go, oh, uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> and he did not talk to me, even drunk, for like the rest of that night. I'd be like, so hey, James, funny. how are you? And he'd be like, good. <laughs> I remember like, the last night you were like, I think James doesn't like me. And we're like... No, honestly, this is the most talkative he's ever been. So, <laughs> yeah. This is the yeah. most we've gotten out of him this entire yeah. time. Because he's like, he's also, for reference, he's like the stoic corner of the party type of guy who will drink a beer and like just kind of goes. Mm. It's it's very rare we get him to like drink, drink. Yeah. Even when we're doing this kind of party, like yeah. he just doesn't do it. And he'll like sneak away and go to bed. Every time. <laughs> and he'll, like 10. <laughs> yeah. Or he'll like, Yeah. Next time we should put a bell on the door that they're sleep like the the, the, the early sleeper boys yeah. go into. Yeah. And we know when they're opening and they're going. We're like, where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? There was also another person there that was asleep the whole fucking time. Did not wake up. Just woke up the next morning and got and heard about it and was like. <laughs> I missed biddies. <laughs> yeah. You missed biddies and ass. Yeah, biddies and ass because yeah. every, I mean everyone was and some penis. He's probably okay without the penis. I was mad about that. No, no. No. I think he would have gone to bed as soon as the first one was out, which really was before the titties. Oh out. yeah, oh, oh <laughs> the before the titties were out. Yeah, uh, yeah. Nate was. Nate was... just got naked to get naked because yeah. he would be like, "Oh no, didn't touch the ceiling." <laughs> oh, 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 and they were like. God. He kept his socks on the entire game. Just like the power play. (laughs) He was like, I'll take off my underwear. And they're like, everyone's like, you have socks on. I just remember being like, oh my god. God damn. God damn. Classic. Reminds me of one of my friends where we didn't play games, we just saw his dick a lot. That's yes. Stony and Nate, like I've seen their dicks way too many times. Mm. I've seen their assholes more than I've seen their dicks. Yeah. I've seen their assholes more than any guy I've ever dated. All the guys I've dated combined and had sex <laughs> with, I have seen Nate and Stoney's buttholes tenfold. Yeah. At least. Tenfold. Yeah. <laughs> At least. They're always out. <laughs> I've learned the way to um really uh you know, intimidate it is just to like stare at his butthole's eye. You know, you like run towards towards them. Just right, because the thing is, is they do it for you to like react and be like, "Oh oh my god, put it away." But if you just go, (laughs) I did that to Stony one time, and he goes, and he immediately pulls his pants up and go, "Bro, (laughs) you're really looking at my soul there." And I was like, "Yeah, how'd it feel?" And he was like, "Not that good." (laughs) Not great. What's up, Go Eagles? Yeah, Legend. Go Eagles. Legend stories. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we gotta think of we'll think of some more. So yeah, that was a legendary alley story. Yeah, yeah. legendary alley. <laughs> um, I'll do my pounded story in theme with the. Oh, that's a classic. Because this is what I. 
to put it in perspective, there was like a two year time period in my life where I would get calls on like Friday and Saturday nights of people who were fucked up. Like, bro, you're on speaker, tell the story. And I'm like, <laughs> ah, fuck. So like, I, I tried to like fade it out of my life because I didn't want to be known as that guy. But uh, a while ago, I was pretty wild and uh, tried to venture into as many things as I could. And I got put in a situation where I was meeting up with a girl and, uh, you know, doing the thing, doing the deed. And met up with her, and nothing was weird. Nothing felt weird. Nothing was like off-putting about the situation. So we go. I go inside her house, go in her bedroom, and we kind of start doing the thing. Now, to spare detail, but this is important. I'm like in the middle of the bed, okay, mm -hmm. and then she's kind of like on the edge of the bed, kind of with her butt propped up, okay, mm -hmm. and she's doing the business. All right. Next thing you know, I hear a door open to the front door. I'm like, I'm kind of like, what was that? She's like, oh, don't worry about it. <laughs> Casuals don't could be, don't it. worry about it. And uh, next, I'm, I like can hear rummaging around. Next thing you know, the door opens. So the bedroom we're in. And it was just a guy. So my first motion is like, ah. <laughs> and I got to get ready to like, I, I'm thinking I'm getting beat up. Because yeah. I look at this guy, and he looks directly into my soul. And he just asks how it could be. Oh, what's up, man? You're like, excuse And like, I'm like, what's going on? And in the smoothest motion I've ever seen another guy do, it was like, pants off, inside. Her. And I'm like, oh, this is happening. Now, I can't lie. She was doing pretty well, so I had to go with it. <laughs> <laughs> so like I'm sitting there like oh, okay well we're in the moment and uh, yeah. I make the mistake of like I was like looking at her and I like glanced up and he's just like right at me smiling just smiling and I'm like okay so like simultaneously I'm like oh I'm about to bust and then like he's like oh me too <laughs> And I don't know if he was just playing, like, trying to, like, roll up the moment, but, like, we finish up, and there's this awkward moment of, like, we're all kind of, like, sitting on the edge of the bed, and he's, like, sitting, like, he's sitting probably where Bella's sitting, like, in proximity, <laughs> he looks at me, he's like, pound it, bro! <laughs> Reach out for a fist bump! <laughs> he got the fist bump. That's, that's good. You can't leave him hanging. Yeah, I felt bad. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Was it a limp fist bump or did you like face No, it? I made sure he knew good, that it was. Good. It was so like, fist well, bump. we did this together. Yeah. <laughs> brother in arms. Team brother activity. Arms. <laughs> You're like, would have been nice to know before I came yeah. here. Yeah, listen, like, yeah. I don't know. I probably wouldn't have said no if I could have gotten a heads up like, hey, like, yeah. by the way, my husband might be there. Yeah, it might, if I could have just man. gotten like a, you know, at least that text. Yeah. My yeah. husband comes home early on Friday sometimes. Like, You'd that'd be, be like, great. Oh, all right, well, all right. we'll see what happens. All right. yeah. No. <laughs> no. Nothing. No. Just pound it. So funny. Pound it. Pound it. <laughs> I remember the emotion, too. Like, when it all started happening and I just, like, glanced up at his eyes, I just felt like all the blood rushed to, like, my feet and I thought I was dying. <laughs> I thought I was dying. I was like, oh, God, no. Like this is where it ends. Yeah, this is the end. I'm, I'm gonna bust my final note. <laughs> call it quits. You're like, I gotta skedaddle. Yeah, skedaddle. It's nice knowing you. <laughs> Looks like. Wait, did Go Eagles have a story that he just posted? Let's see. Oh, yeah. He said he did. something. Then Bieber it's said, "It's the Wild it's West." It's the Wild West. <laughs> I was about to fail my final. We had ten minutes left. We're two hour time left. So I asked these girls next to me to share answers. I ended up passing. Hey! Hey! I actually think I have stories from a Facebook post that people want me to share. Oh, really? So we'll just shout them out. They got a problem with that. Then we'll talk. Uh, <coughs> so Morgan shouts out. Morgan shouts out. Says, "What makes me a legend? Hmm, my mindset. Everything I've overcome. None of my goals are modest." Fair enough. Nice. Yeah, yeah, I respect that. Powerful. Uh, Found it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what the worst part was is like that haunted me for like a long time i would go to like parties i don't even know where people are like who they are and like the first time they meet me they're like oh pound it bro and i'm like 
<laughs> like I don't know how it I mean I like went and told my main group of friends and like it was a whole evening and everyone was laughing and dying yeah. but then like it spread I remember telling that story maybe only like three or four times and then next thing you know it's like calls by drunk people in, in the morning like bro did you really have a threesome I'm like yeah like, yeah. like sure we'll call it that <laughs> Forcibly, sure. I mean, kind of. Like, how does that? I've always tried to think, like, how does that work if I'm like not cool with it? Like, do I have to beat the guy up? Like, I think you can just leave. I think so. I think no. He was like, like, gotta go. I feel like if you were like. Hey, like I'm not comfortable and like left. Like they might be like you fucking pussy, but like they're not. Yeah, he had some weird eyes on him. I don't know if I wanted to like expose (laughs) myself any more than I was. Um, Alex said, I had a baby at 15 and still graduated high school. Not really a story, but still pretty damn proud. Damn! Yeah. Nice, out. Alex! Shouts out. Shouts out, for mm-hmm. real. Let's see, Patience says, some guy stole my brother's TV and went to his house. And they were on their way to a pawn shop, so we followed them and we parked right next to them. And they sped away and we were chasing them down state. And then I had, a flat, I had to flag down a cop and the cop pulled them over and they had to give the TV back. Not legendary, but I felt like it was in. I was in like a movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, we Pretty knew bad. who stole the TV because he sent his girlfriend to knock on the door and ask for the remote because they forgot it. Oh my oh god! Oh my god! god. What? That's you're, amazing. If you're gonna steal a TV and not take the remote, you're a dumbass. But also, buy a universal remote. Yeah, buy a universal. The money yeah. you get back from a TV, well, like, oh, come on. Oh, I don't my. think you would get that much for a TV though at a pawn shop. Depending on the yeah, TV though, yeah, but still, yeah, like anything. still, I feel like you sh- never go back. You never go yeah, back. What? That's like, how you hey, get. You, that's how you really get caught. <laughs> These are all great, and let's do a shout out to Megan Carter. I donated a kidney and saved a life. Whoa! Yeah. Oh, now that okay. is legend. Also, I, legend. I I saw that pose and I looked her up. She's very beautiful. So she saved a life while looking gorgeous. Hey, extra shouts out. Extra hey shouts out. Megan, hit me up. <laughs> <laughs> saved my life. <laughs> <God damn. laughs> it's never too late to shoot your shot. Exactly. You know, I love humanitarian work. <laughs> <laughs> I have a not so legendary one where I. Uh, as you drink and you decide to not stop drinking and then you end up not remembering anything. Um, I woke up in a stranger's house. So from the perspective of friends, I guess what was happening is we were having a party or whatever. And I had told, now I don't remember any of this. I had told someone that I was going outside to talk to somebody. Okay. And my friends being not helpful thought that was okay. And I guess they watched me walk outside and get in the car and then just leave. <laughs> what? Okay, so fast forward morning time. I wake up naked in a panic and probably, and listen, if there's for some reason you ever hear this story, sorry, I don't know. <laughs> you had to have known I was fucked up. Um, <laughs> Naked in a bedroom that was probably one of the grossest places I've ever seen in my life. Oh. Like, just, like, the bed was not great, bad, like, really bad. The floor looked sticky, like, oh. trash and stuff. Like, yeah. I don't know what happened. And, like, I'm kind of panicking, as I think anyone would. Yeah. And I see, like, my stuff is kind of on a nightstand. And, like, I'm coherent enough to find my clothes and I get dressed. And... I have my keys, so I thought I drove, which I was like, oh, fuck, that's not good. You're like, no, no. <laughs> um, My phone's dead, and my wallet, all this stuff's in there. And I walk outside, or walk out of this bedroom into, like, a living room. It's kind of like a one floor, maybe, like, a two- or three-bedroom house. And, like, there's no one there, and I'm like, what the fuck? And then I hear a door open, and someone's like, oh, hey, you! And I'm like, I turn around, and, like, I'm a pretty big dude now. And this lady was pretty larger than me. And uh, I'll leave a couple parts out because I don't want to be rude specifically. But uh, yeah, I was like, oh, hi. 
Um, I'm gonna be straight up with you. I don't know. I don't remember anything from last night. And she's like, "What?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I don't like. I was really drunk." And she's like, "Oh." And I was like, "Did we have sex?" And she's like, "No, we didn't." But like, you know. And I'm like, oh, "No, what?" <laughs> like, I don't, know. I don't know. And she's oh, like, "Well, we did some stuff." And I'm like, "Okay. Um, well, will you take me home?" And that wasn't an answer that I was supposed to say because she got really mad. She's like, no, we have to talk. And I'm like, I just told you I, everything that happened. Like, I don't remember. I don't even know your name. I don't know where I'm at. I don't know what's going on. Will you please take me home? And she's like, no, I'm not fucking taking you anywhere. And I'm like, I'm leaving. <laughs> and she's like, don't you fucking leave. We need to talk. And like, she's like, looks like she's ready to fight. And I'm like, Oh my God. So I like scurry out the front door and start walking. And I find myself about 3,500 South. And I'm like, okay, well, I know where I'm at. Yeah. Go to a Maverick. Who am I going to call? Can't call my parents. Yeah. yeah. I was 20 at the time. Yeah. So like, Do they don't know like that I drink. Yeah. I don't know how that conversation looks. Like, hey, uh, about, about, um, <laughs> Don't ask me why my phone's not working. Now. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't know, like, at the time, like, I didn't know any of my friends' phone numbers by heart. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, all right, well, guess I'm walking home. So I walked on Redwood all the way down to here. Took, like, I don't know, the day. And then walked up to Bountiful, kind of where you guys live. So my friend's house was, like, yeah. two streets over from where you guys live. And I walk in, and they're all just kind of sitting there. And I'm like, you guys fucking suck. And they're like, oh, where did you go last night? And I'm like, I don't know. Why don't you guys fucking tell me where I went last night? And they're like, well, what happened? And I told them the whole story. And they're like, oh, that's pretty fucked up, bro. And I'm like, yeah. Just tell me about it. I was like, did you guys not know that I was had been drinking all night? And they're like, we figured you knew what you were doing. And I'm like, no fucking out. Now, fun fact, that is the last time I ever got drunk. Really? Like, actually, like, like, fucked up, fucked up. Yeah, I don't think yeah, I would yeah. drink after something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't drink yeah. after yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'd be so pissed by friends. I'd be like, what the fuck? I I'm, mean, if your friends are like, hey, I'm meeting someone or, like, whatever, and they, like, get in a car and leave, like, there's not a lot you can do. Especially if everyone else is drinking, too, like. There's a back end to it, so, like, I had got my phone charged and was like trying to find the text messages and this person was on some like like pre or right when tinder started site i don't know one oh, of the apps yeah, yeah. and uh there was like messages back and forth like the, the whole night i guess i had started texting her when i was sober and i don't remember having a conversation with her yeah and then drunk me and was like hey come get me uh, uh, that's yeah. that, that, that's yeah. the kicker. Yeah, the, the we kicker. have a friend that is yeah, like really, re- like I don't think you were this friend, so like maybe your friends, your friends definitely should have been looking out a little more. But we have a friend that like I could definitely see something like this happening to. Oh yeah, and there's absolutely no way that we could stop him if he wanted to do it. No like way. there's no way that he'd be like, hey, I'm meeting someone, and we'd be like, you don't, you shouldn't do that. He'd be like, fuck you guys. Yeah, <laughs> and just <laughs> leave, and we'd be like. All right. He's dating a stripper right now. He's, like, really into it. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. And, like, that's fine. Like, it's cool. He told us her real name, and then he was like, but she likes to go by Daisy. And Stoney's oh. mom, he told that to Stoney's mom, and Stoney's mom was like, is she a stripper? And he was like, yes. <laughs> yes. And she was like, yeah. where does she work? I probably know. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> She's iconic. Okay. I have a legendary story. This last story did not remind me. It was the story before. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. So it's more in the funny ground. Um, and this is a story oof, oof. that I tell. Why you gotta do this to me? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <All> R.I.P. <right, laughs> Somebody clipped it. Oh. Yeah. Oof. Bound to happen eventually. Yeah. <laughs> Go Eagles. You really, you really fucked us up. <laughs> so long. Really dir- did me dirty. <laughs> Um, this is my party story. So, when I was, I'm gonna say about 17, and I was at the punk house, which was like, 
where we all hung out in high school, where we would just smoke and ditch class too. It was like in Taylorsville. So my best friend was on and off again dating this guy, and he was a year younger than us. But we went to this ha his house, and I was already cross-faded when I got there. Classic. Um, cause we okay. Oh, it's the clip so, of dropping something. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Um, that was the day that I had a threesome on top of Suicide Rock. Oh, what? I know, th I know this story. <laughs> so I was hanging out with my best friend and this guy that I was in love with freshman year. And then I was like, oh, okay. You're like, eh, okay. Okay. I, I get why freshman Allie liked him. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, but we were like. We were drinking and smoking, and then Phoenix just climbed Suicide Rock, and we just kind of stared at her, and then the guy, uh, we'll call him Joe, Joe just looked at me and he was like, hey, you want to have sex with Phoenix, top that rock? And I was like, I'm afraid of heights, and he was like, I got you. So he half carried me up this rock, oh. <laughs> and then we got up there and it was so fucking cold that I participated in this three-way. I was active for about five minutes, and then I just took the blanket, and I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, never mind. And uh, my friend took one for the team, and they just, like, had sex over there while I was like, oh, it's so warm up there. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got down, and we headed directly to the punk house, where we played, for my first time, King's Cup, Ooh. Never played it the same sense because we played it wrong. In 30 minutes, we went through one game, and I drank 13 beers, and I didn't oh, drink oh every God. time I was supposed to. I don't know how this happened, but I was drunk. And the whole time, I was sitting next to Phoenix's boy's older brother. And just to preface, he is like a model six-pack. Uh, and at oh, the yeah. time, I was like, oh, okay, I see you. <laughs> I'm seeing that. And so he was like, okay, I'm seeing that too. So I lost. So I had to chug the king's cup. But he was like, I'll be a gentleman. Because there was also a secondary loss in which I had to bite Tyler's ass. There's still a picture. Because... He hadn't washed his pants for two years, and he was a punk. Like, Ugh. punk. <laughs> so that, it was yeah. bathed in beer every night. Oh, that's I'm that's so disgusting. glad I was drunk for it. Yeah. <laughs> but, bit his ass, and then we went to his room. He proceeded to show me his Halo art. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> that was graded from like seventh grade, and then all of his Halo figurines that filled the closet. <laughs> there was one that was like three feet tall. <laughs> How to woo a lady. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think you should write a book. <laughs> <laughs> and then he played me a song that he wrote on the guitar, and it wasn't bad. Ooh, I, I listened to it, and I was like, this isn't trash. So immediately I was like, hey, let's do it. <laughs> and then we were making out. He was on top of me. And then he pulled up, looked me dead ass in the eye, completely serious and said, this is really going to fuck with your emotions. And then went back in to kiss me. So even, and I'm going to say again, I was so drunk. Oh. So, <laughs> what the fuck? You're like, what do you mean? I pulled back and I was like, what the fuck? What, what are you talking about? And he was like, this is really going to fuck with you. Like, I don't want to brag, but like, I'm really good at what I do. Like, I don't want to say that this will be life-changing, but, I mean... This is him telling you that? Oh, my God. Oh, God. And, again, I was drunk, and I was very attracted, and I was like, okay, hey, just shut up. 
Just stop talking. Like, Let's oh, continue man. this. Fast forward. And he mistakenly, full thrust, no hesitation, just rams it up my ass. Oh, no. no. Oh, no. <laughs> he talks all this fucking big game. So I immediately, I remember I just like scooted away and then I hid my butt from him like a dog and I was like, what? No. And then I just went to bed. Oh, no. You're like, what? Yeah. What the hell? And you're like, wow. Oh, well. I didn't forget this. Yeah, you're like, it really was uh, life changing. Yeah. And then I told his brother that story the next morning over eggs, and his brother literally went, oh my god. <laughs> he said that? <laughs> oh, it yeah. became a joke. Yeah, I would imagine. Yeah. And we yeah. would always just, like, whenever he came by, it would be like, oh man, I mean, don't brag, but you're really good at what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> this is a life-altering moment. Yeah, like, you're Good. Wow, this is kind of messing with my emotions right now. See, here's the thing. I could totally understand him saying that pre-sex or pre-making out. You know, you're drinking that night, you talk mm-hmm. about mad gain you have, mm-hmm. and then you have sex. Yes. You don't, while, right before sex, being like, I hope you know your life's going to change forever <laughs> by this penis. Like, that's, that's just famous. not the time. That's so not, not the time. It's already a done deal. You you don't gotta keep yeah. keep going. You're especially like, not like that. No, especially because you're like, because the thing is that that's that's you don't do that. You just don't do that. You just don't do that. See, I always went with the, I always made the joke that it's gonna be not, like don't expect a lot. Because then, like, if it does happen, they're like, oh. Wow. That was, he said it was going to be bad, and it was like, meh. And then I never disappoint. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. You yeah. know what? I'll give, I'll give a little bit of a funny funny joke so that my high school sweetheart would always tell, say that um, his penis was painfully average. Because, like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the best. Painfully average. Painfully average. Because, like. At the time that I dated him, I had slept with some other guys, so like I had a good range of dicks in my mind. Right. And but like mind range. But <laughs> my range of dicks, so I was like, I was like, okay, because like in my head, I was like, yeah, no, he's pretty like solidly average. Sure. No, now I've been with some painfully average guys, and I'm like, no, he was actually above average. But him saying he's painfully average really upsells when you see it. And yeah. It's actually mm-hmm. bigger. Yeah. It's it true. The guys who talk yeah. about how big their wieners are, I was always like, why would you do that? Because if you're not, like, the biggest wiener this girl's ever seen, you're just going to, it's not going to be great. Yeah, it, it'll yeah, be like, a disappointment well, from yeah. the get-go. Yeah, okay. and you like, oh. That makes me think of, um, we have a friend who is a legend uh, for his yeah. massive hog. But no one's ever seen it. No one's ever, well, I've seen it. I've seen it. <laughs> You've seen it. I've seen it. Well, some people have seen it now, but, like, yeah, because six months ago. No one had uh, seen it. Yeah. But it's kind of come to light, to him at least, um, that everybody knows that he has a massive penis. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, oh, it's big? Yeah. Stoney yeah. <laughs> refers to it as Sam's baby arm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I remember um, when we were at your aunt's house, and that was, I got too drunk that night. Dude, I fucking told her about all of the th- parties I've thrown at her house. And that I did something else there. And, <laughs> yeah. and she was like, oh my god, really? And I was like, yeah. And she was like, I'm so glad you threw parties at my house. And I was like, I'm glad that was your reaction. Because <laughs> I didn't mean to tell you that. But here we are. I'm drunk at your house right now. And I'm telling you now that I <laughs> have thrown it. several parties at your house. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's so it's a cool. cool house, yeah. It's a cool fucking house. I never me. knew, so it must I must have cleaned up real good because they hey. never knew. Hey. Yeah. Hey. yeah. <laughs> Listen, it's a really cool house, but the house fucking terrifies me. Honestly, Honestly it's, it's a little fucking it's scary. spooky. It's a spooky ass house. The first time I went there completely sober, I was like, hmm. Well, this is terrifying. <laughs> this I don't want to go anywhere by myself. And I still <laughs> yeah. feel that way. The whole backside of her house is just windows. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Yeah. That's kinda cool though. It's yeah. it's a really, really cool house. It's just 
fucking weird and spook you when you're alone. Yeah, yeah. like, it's, like, I don't know, it just has this eerie feeling about it, mm. you know? But, like, it definitely kind of has, like, that 70s architecture that's really cool. Yeah. It's there's, super it's, awesome. There's a lot of dark Ooh, yeah. corners when all the lights are on in the house. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. What so, is the... What does all the windows in the back look at? Like, is it, like... Their uh, backyard. Their backyard. Which is also pretty dope. They have, like, a hot tub and, like, these, like... They have, like, a garden and, like, some, um, like, grapevines all across. It's, like, a private backyard. So oh, it's not, okay. it's not like the neighbors can see into the house from... The well, okay, so, like, back. is there, like, a view? Like, do you see, like, the sunset or, like, mountains or, like... Is it kind of, like, secluded It's pretty somewhere? much just their backyard. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because, like, the house is, like, basically, like, um... This is, okay, so, I'm, I'm trying to find something that could, okay, so, like, if my legs are her backyard, <laughs> right, then her house sits, like, kind of like this, so oh, her house, like, you. sits down into the yeah. backyard, and then the backyard comes up. Gotcha. So, it's, it's, so it's, it's weird, like... but, like, it's, it's a cool house, Yeah. Sure. but it's definitely somewhere that, like, uh, was spooky for several reasons on several occasions. Yeah. Being alone there is not my jam. Definitely but. could get murdered there. Oh so, yeah, it would be a it would yeah. be a really good like movie house for like yeah. murders. Mm. That just makes me think of Allie's house, um, or her parents' house technically. Um, because when I went over, it was like right after like Nate and I broke up and everything, and I texted her and I was like, Nate and I broke up, and you're like, come over, I have wine and a new hot tub. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, all right, and so we hung out in the hot tub, and it was like late at night, and. We just, like, we're talking about, we're like, we could definitely be murdered. Like, definitely be murdered in this situation. And it was kind of like, you know what? Honestly, I'd be honored. This is a good way to die. What a way to go. What a way to go. Bieber. Well, anyways. Oh, go ahead. I was going to say, Bieber oh, yeah. says, I'm legendary for being able to read so many books back to back, no stop. I'm on the six out of seven books of the Throne of Glass. Oh, Series. what? And I start, <gasps> yeah, it's been a problem. Nice. Oh my god. Sarah J. Moss is a queen, though. Dude, her new book is coming mm. out um, on the 16th. I'm so excited. I have a pre order. To put it in perspective, <laughs> this month, she's read the Court of Thorns and Roses series twice, and now she's on book six of seven of Throne of Glass. Which is her tomes. And she showed me yeah. her Fair. listening, and I'm like, but you've been up for only 12 hours. It's like, yeah, I don't turn it off. I'm like, okay then. <laughs> All right. Well, I do the same thing, though. Like, if I get really sucked into a book, I read it so fast. But I, like, specifically if I'm, like, physically reading it. I have to be physically reading it. Mm -hmm. But then I don't do anything but that. Mm -hmm. I just read. And that's, like, uh, they always told me, he was like, he's like, Cass, yeah, you know, you kind of read books like some people do drugs. <laughs> and he's like in the nicest way possible and I'm like eh -heh. and well I'm uh, you know helping my brain so I don't really see the issue I'm trying to thick brain yeah it's uh, you know there are some grooves up in this brain that's for sure that's a fact what was I what, what was the story that I was talking about before oh Sam's giant penis yes baby arm yes mm -hmm. um, basically oh we were there at the, the time that I actually saw it we all knew about it because yeah. we knew about stories from, like, because all the guys have been friends since, like, junior high. No, basically. like, elementary school. Elementary school. And, um, basically they were saying that one time they found a penis pump. <laughs> when they were, like, in junior high, I think, Classic. is when this yeah. happened. Yeah, yeah. And um, they all, like, you know, tried it out. Of uh, course. You know, and <laughs> Sam <laughs> went and was like, guys, mine won't fit. And he turns around, and they were like, it was like, <laughs> baked in there. Like, it wouldn't fit. It was too big to fit in the entire penis pump. <laughs> in junior high. Oh, Lord. <laughs> he's in, what does he do for a living? Because I can tell you he's not in the right industry. No, no. He's definitely not. <laughs> no, not, uh, uh, no. You know, I feel like he could really be a Does he need an agent? <laughs> I feel like I can facilitate some work. Yeah, I good. think that he's... Uh, Maybe uh, with someone right now who's kind of getting a little bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, you know what? Hey, hey, hey. You gotta live your dream. <laughs> yeah, you know? Whew. But basically, we have, like, all always known about it, and we've always joked about it, but I realize we never really talk about it a lot 
like when he's there. Of course not. Yeah. And yeah. so then eventually um he's kind of been coming around more in the past like bit few months and stuff like yeah, that and yeah. um so he's heard more especially when we drink about it and we'll be like yeah you know about your giant penis <laughs> and, oh not even <laughs> subtle hints no. no no we're all very like blunt people so like if we know like we'll just be like oh yeah you know your giant penis duh and boy girls locker room <laughs> boys locker room <laughs> that is yeah. factual facts facts but he literally, we were talking about it, and then I remember at Bella's aunt's house, we were there, all drunk as hell. And this is also after he was wrestling with some 40-year-old man out <laughs> on the porch. They actually physically wrestled. Perfect. It was a really unfortunate event that it, it, happened. It really I was. wish I had not taken Sam. Yeah, it was, oh. it was, uh, it was a... My aunt invited me to a Christmas party at her house, and Sam got in a fight with someone. Oh, they were, like, not play wrestling? They were, well, they were play wrestling at the time. And then this guy was, like, this other guy that was really weird. And, like, my aunt was, like, apologetic to me about how weird he was being. Mm. And she, and I was, like, I'm sorry that I brought this person and that they're fighting. And she was, like, I'm sorry he's, like, weird and, like, not only did some weird things to you guys, but, like, now is fighting with this guy. Like, we both were, like, embarrassed. (laughs) I haven't seen her since then. (laughs) <laughs> I'm embarrassed that I throw up at her house. Well, <laughs> That's mostly, I'm like, I don't think she knows about it. I'm not going to tell her. Don't tell her. Don't tell her. Because I'm pretty sure her dogs also ate it, and I'm very sad about that. I'm pretty oh. sure that guy was also puking right next to you. No, he was. That's he why was, I went down there, so he, that I wouldn't be fully blamed. He was puking to, a little too close to her, and I was like, Cass, we need to leave. She was like, I'm puking. And I was like, no, you're not. We're leaving. She's like, no, like, I can't move. And I was like, No. No, like, I think where, where I, I think we should go. She's like, I think I think I'm good. And I was like, he's like fucking standing right next to her. Like he can hear me talking to her. And I'm like, do we need to leave? She's like, I'm fine. And I was like, no, I I think we need to leave. <laughs> I was like, I literally will puke if I move. <laughs> he's over there puking in the bushes. I think I'm good right now. <laughs> and then I ended up puking, and then I felt good. Good. And then we went home. And then we went home. <laughs> Immediately. Yeah. yeah. But right before I puked, actually, almost immediately before I puked, Sam, we were talking about Sam's big dick for some reason. It came up. Well, he started like to, to kind of like bring it up as a subject now. That Now that he knows that everybody knows about it. And he's like proud of it. Yeah, he's like proud of it. And we're all shit faced and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, I've heard about it. I've heard legends. Fantastic, dude. And he's like, yeah. And I was like, I've never seen it. Well, basically, I'm like, I've never seen it, though. But everybody says, like, all these great things. And he's like, do you want to see a picture? And I go, drunk me? If anybody offers to show me a dick pic, I'm like, absolutely. (laughs) (laughs) This has happened on multiple occasions, actually. I go, yes, please. There was some girl in it. And I go, who who that? And he's like, oh, my ex. And I'm like, nice. She's got pretty nails. (laughs) And I was like, I was like, but also... Massive hog, bro. <laughs> and then he's like, yeah. And then I think he went over and puked in the bushes. He was like, yeah. Goes, pukes. And then I, sitting there next to your cousin. <laughs> also, her cousin was kind of hitting on me in that moment. Was it Jaden? I have no idea which one it was. But he was trying to tell me that um, his penis was just as big. And I was it like. It definitely Landon then. Um... I was like, that's cool. <laughs> And then in the moment, I start to get up, and he's like, oh, where are you going? And I'm like, down here. <laughs> and I go, and I then puke. <laughs> in case you guys were wondering, I have a fucking cool family. Yeah. <laughs> now you know. <laughs> They're pretty dope. I remember. Apparently, one of them has a big dick. <laughs> I, I have a, a friend who I won't name because I don't know what he wants people to know, but there was, like, he had made jokes before, like, him having a huge dick, like, just ginormous. Yeah. And, like, everyone just thought, like, it was, like, guy talk, like, you know. Because, like, there's people who either joke, like, the painfully average type thing. Yeah. Or, yeah. like, huge. And uh, I remember one night he was, like, drunk, and he's like, have you ever been sleeping in bed and your dick just, like, smacks your chest really hard? And I'm like, <laughs> what? I'm like, no, bro. That's never happened to me. Are you okay? <laughs> and he's like, yeah, man. Just, like, last night I was, like, I don't know. I was kind of drinking and just, like, thumped my chest really hard and it hurt and I'm like okay like what do you mean and he's like yeah like I just was like 
I don't know. They're like, uh, okay. Um, <laughs> okay. I'm Irish, bro. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Is this a weird flex right now for you? I don't know. Like, no, man, it's just a weird moment. I'm like, you're making this a weird moment. Like, <laughs> so fast forward a little ways <laughs> down the road. Um, I had some friends living together, and they decided to do like, now, <laughs> to per- put in perspective, there's only three guys there at the time. And they decided to do the clona willy thing. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. But yeah, yeah. it was just, I guess this, I showed <laughs> up like, <laughs> I showed up like an hour after they did it. And like, I could tell like something like was bothering people, like my friend group. And what, I guess what had happened is like, they had all awkwardly gone to separate rooms to like get hard to clone the willy. <laughs> and when they came out, like my two other friends, like, you know average wieners and then like monster truck fucking just <laughs> fills the whole cylinder <laughs> oh my and god and i could tell that whole time like going around there i'm like what'd you guys do tonight and they're like the two other guys are like we did clone a willy <laughs> and i'm like oh that's weird why'd you guys do that just like you guys and he's like oh we thought it'd be fun and, I'm like, <laughs> and i look over at him he's just kind of like laughing and i'm like well where are they and they're like oh they're in these cylinders and i look over there i'm like Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's yours? <laughs> that fucking, what is that? Whoa. He's like, you remember I told you I like hit my chest? Like, well, and I'm like, oh. Oh, oh. my God. Oh, my God. What's that, cool American flavor? Cool yes, American flavor. Uh, what is the cool American flavor? Cool ranch. Oh. oh. You right, you right. <laughs> you right. Fair enough, fair enough. I will say, though, I was... I wasn't like sad because I'd rather never see Sam Dinas, but yeah, no, I don't. The see one it. time I got to see it in the flesh, you saw it in the flesh. He showed it at the cabin. Yeah. Oh yeah. I had already gone to I, bed. I, I forgot. I heard him talking no, about it. No, this long, was the bullshit because earlier when my tits were out, yeah, he was like looking me dead in the eye. He's like, I'm never gonna look below your eye limit. Because oh, I respect yeah. you. And I was like, Sam, I'm going to do the same. Because he saw his pants so on the you time. Could, yes, yeah, so you could look his dick. I looked him in the eye. And I, I, I turn over. I look him dead in the eye. And he's like pulling up his pants. And I was like, wait a second. Was your dick just out? And he's like, yeah. And I was like, I missed it. He's like, how did you miss it? And I was like, because I respect you. <laughs> <laughs> and that's exactly what I said. Because we just had a conversation about making eye contact you. with each other. <laughs> Sam definitely looked at your titties. There's no way he didn't. Oh, oh yeah. No, 100%. 100%. Everyone looked at my titties. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. looked at them. Yeah, I looked at your titties. I looked yeah. at everybody's titties. <laughs> I looked down yeah. at my own titties. Yeah. I was like, damn. <laughs> I remember the next night um, after that, this is also when we convinced James to take off his shirt. Um, yeah. No, we walk yeah. up to him, and he, like, looks at me, but immediately goes, immediately titties first, then eyes. And I think it was Ellie who goes, you just look at her tits? <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then um, he had to do the whole, like, take off an article of clothing. And this is, I tell Holly about this. I was like, I think about this. This is one of those moments where I go, ah, why did I do that? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I'm so embarrassed. But also, it was so funny. Um, and I think about it often. But basically, he takes off his shirt. And I, this is also the guy who, like, doesn't talk. Yeah, doesn't talk at all. It takes us a lot to get him to hang out with us. Yeah. And yeah. like, we, for example, I asked him to go to El Chihuahua with us tomorrow, and he responded with prob. P R O B. That's it. That's yeah. it. That's it. That's <laughs> all. Man, a few That's all. words. <laughs> and uh, what happened is he takes off his shirt. Immediately I go, boop, boop. Fucking <laughs> 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 Sometimes you just gotta get up. You know? I, I, He's never gonna take his shirt off ever no, again. No, I won't. And I literally, I don't know why I did it. I just had this urge. It just, it just happened, and I was like, "Oh my god, why did I do that?" I like to think that was a moment where he was like, "You know, maybe I'll start breaking out of my shell a little bit." Takes his shirt off and just. He definitely, <laughs> he definitely did not want to take his shirt off to begin with. No, but we were all surrounding him, being like, "We all have our shirts off." We're still like fucking staring at him, being like. You can't go to bed because we're watching you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what up? Is Trump is all up? What's my Hey, hey, yo. Yo, go follow our uh, book club page. Oh. I know you like the book club. <gasps> yeah. Mm, yeah. 
Memes um, build. Legendary stories. Yeah, I can legendary think of stories. stories. Okay. Do you have one? Uh, this is the story of how my friend and I will call her a Sparrow. Sparrow. Okay. <laughs> All right. I was thinking Sarah, but Sparrow's better. <laughs> this is the story of how we crashed a funeral. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> So, I'm in class, I don't know, it was high school, some grade, but I had a car. So, Sparrow texts me and she's like, hey, my uncle died and my parents can't pick me up. Will you take me to this funeral? And I was like, yes, I will. Yeah. So, I told my teacher, I was like, hey, I gotta go to a funeral. And he was still the coolest teacher ever. He was like, okay, see you later then. So, I just left class. Picked her up, but in my car, which is always dirty, I had exactly three formal dresses that could maybe pass for a funeral. One was bright pink, Oh. one was dark purple, and one was black. And it was the dead of winter. So, we searched around, because she had like a leather patched up jacket, and I had like this corduroy thing that was more more mcdonald's playground than funeral <laughs> if I'm honest. Yeah. so those were out and i had two pea coats one was black and one was bright red so we turned to each other and we agreed someone got the black pea coat and someone got the black dress mm -hmm. so i was in this very like low cut tight purple dress that ended mid-thigh in a black peacoat <laughs> and she was in this black dress with a bright red peacoat and we're like okay hey, go to the funeral so we go to the church they've left already they've proceeded to the um Very graveyard cool. yeah. yeah and i was like okay well which graveyard is it and she was like i don't know and i was like okay so what's like, what's your uncle's name? Maybe we can look that up. And she was like, no, you can't. Oh. And I was like, okay. And if I'm being honest at this point, I knew we weren't headed to the uncle's funeral. But I was like, okay, well, let's just go to the nearest graveyard. Like, let's just do this. Oh, so we Google Maps and we go. And I went the wrong way. So I'm oh, driving no. the wrong way down a one-way dirt road passing this funeral so i do like an eight point turn turn around park and then i look over at her and i'm like this isn't your uncle's funeral is it is it she's like no and i'm like okay whose funeral are we at and she's like i don't know oh, oh my god no. oh. so being the people that we were we got out of the car and as it was ending we just walked up and i we were also very high, cause we we uh we smoked on the way over, so I was trying not to laugh. Oh my god! And I was barely holding it in, just like, and like we were trying to fake cry as this family <laughs> just glared at us like. The, the heat of a thousand suns were coming from their eyes. <laughs> I imagine this is something that will happen at your dad's funeral. Oh, what a like, hundred percent. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Confirm. <laughs> but I still tell this story because I feel like at a funeral, you talk about the irregularities. And it's a good way to bring up the memory of someone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, it's true. Um, my boyfriend, he always, he and his family always talk about on his uncle's funeral day. Yeah. They saw someone with a llama just walk by <laughs> and then have a casual conversation and keep walking. And there is no llama farm anywhere near there. See, I, I like to think, though, on the opposite side of it, like, that family was like, did he have mistresses? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like these young girls these show young up girls. to this guy's funeral and just like, they're like, oh my God, who are they? Like, how do they know? Because like, you, you don't typically him? crash funerals. Yeah. It's not a popular oh. sport. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's really fun. 
on though. Gotta be honest. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Oh, if you, have you guys ever seen Wedding Crashers? Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Yeah, Maybe. Will Ferrell's whole thing is crashing funerals because it's easier to get laid. <laughs> yeah. Will Ferrell? Excuse me, you mean Owen Wilson? Um, excuse no, it's Will me? <laughs> <laughs> Fake fan? Fake Wait, fan! Wedding Crashers! Will Owen Wilson is in it, but yeah. so is Will Ferrell mom. is the guy who Mom, the funerals. meatloaf! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I forgot. I've seen that movie once. <laughs> I've seen that movie a lot of times. The first oh, time was the uncensored know, version right? that my grandparents rented, and my brother and my grandparents and I all watched it together. Fucking <laughs> uncensored. Oh. And when my grandma realized when we saw the first set of titties, she was like, oh my god. <laughs> well, this is a family oh, stream oh they're called god. Beans here. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> titties? Would you she, saw your first pair of titties? She <laughs> literally, she's sitting next to me on the couch and I'm like, and she goes, <laughs> I didn't mean to hit you. <laughs> I just was oh, wow. and I was like, okay. she literally just was like. <laughs> so Go Eagle says, I was shopping at an outside mall and was exiting a Adidas. Adidas store. I passed Gash right at the front door no. entrance and was waiting for my friend to pass, and all I hear was couples saying, What the fuck? Man, smells gross. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You crop dusted a poor family. <laughs> Honestly, pretty solid. Yeah. I wonder if this family pretty remembers. Solid. Like, remember that time that guy crop dusted us? <laughs> One of my favorite things on TikTok right now. So I usually like fart humor or poop humor doesn't really get me going. Like I just there's this guy who goes to Walmart and just like the nastiest farts that I've ever heard in my life. And he'll go stand next to people and like <laughs> I don't know if he like sets a camera up like in like the aisle like hiding. And then he'll just go, like, start looking at stuff and then just fart. Like, just this god-awful, like, <laughs> like earth-shattering fart. And the reactions from these people, like, there was one, this lady legit, like, jump-scared. Because <laughs> it, like, it sounded like a fucking thunder coming out of this guy's ass. Oh, my. Was it, like, a real fart or was it just a fake one? I, th I can't find, I can't figure it out, but all the reactions are real because he's legit just in fucking Walmart. Just farting. just fucking with people, <laughs> and he's like an older guy, and his reactions just, like when people get mad, he's like, "Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to." I was like, just holding it, kind of fell out. Like he just plays it off like it's the most casual like accident that's ever happened. That's solid, honestly. Yeah, dude, fart humor always gets me. It's so funny. Yeah. So yeah. funny. I fucking love it. So fucking funny. Uh, I love uh, that shit. Should I get topped off on the lawn? Top it off. Um, a couple of years ago, I went to Vegas with the girls. Oh, yes. It was a really good time. And we were coming home. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> well, there was this one time uh, while we were there. Like, okay, preface this. This is our second. No, this is the Thank first you. night there. This is the first mm -hmm. night there, okay? Yeah. Here's the thing. Our main goal. This is not a fart joke. I wish it was. It's not. <laughs> but <laughs> our main goal was to go to the Taco Bell Cantina. Yeah. At like at, so our plan was like we're going to go to this party during the day, then we're going to go to um or no, this was the first time we were there. So this was like we drove 6 hours, got there, just started drinking as soon as we got there at like mm -hmm. 6 p.m., okay? Yeah. So 6 p.m., we all worked that day. So I went to work this day, uh, we mm -hmm. got there, we all like showered and like got dressed and like ready and we'd been drinking before we even got to the club. We go yeah. to the club, okay? Oh, which is club. like Fuck that was a club. shitty club, dude. Cass and I were drinking tequila, which like, Oof. I don't know. There's like a level of like fucked up you get on like different kinds of alcohol, and yeah. like tequila is one of those alcohols that like at the time I would get so shit faced drinking yeah. tequila. Like I didn't have to drink that much, and I was fucking trashed. But we get these tequila shots at this at the bar in the club, and this was like a Coke bar for sure, because like oh, yeah, there was not a lot of people at the bar, and that that was the telltale sign. sign yeah. That uh, and our shots were twenty dollars. They were twenty one dollars per each. shot. I thought they were forty one. No, because well, we paid together. True. Because oh, I was yeah, like yeah. two, and I was like, can I just have twenty? I'll take the rest. Because I was like, I got extra money, but I don't want to pay $21, no. but they already poured no. it. So it's yeah. like, what am I supposed to do? Say, yeah. no, thank you, sir. Put it back in the bottle, well, please. <laughs> we had asked for well tequila, too. Like, yeah, you guys that like, was we're the like, get out of your bottom tequila. shelf, please. Yeah, we, Cheapest, we were... disgusting tequila dressed. Yeah. Yeah. So 
That's what we ordered, so right? Though. We're at this club. You were there until like Patron. I think that was their way. Yeah, I think so. I think so too. But it was a bougie club, but we didn't know that. But now we know. I will not be going back there. It's too many stairs. So also, many stairs. What's up with that? It was so dark, which like is a thing. But like, there was like, like the stage was like on the bottom. It was this whole thing. Anyways, yeah. Yeah. um, we stayed there till like probably like three a.m. something like that. Then afterwards, we go to the Taco Bell Cantina. All of us are still fucking trash. I order a Taco Bell Baja Blast freeze. With two shots of tequila in it. Yeah. yeah. And three a.m. Oh, those and were so they were fucking so good, good, though. Slay. They were so good. Right? We're there till 5 a.m. 5 Taco fucking a.m. At the Taco Bell Cantina. Best best decision of the yeah. entire night. Not oh, yeah. Oh, it was, oh, yeah. It was the best thing. I looked fucking hot. Everyone looked hot. And then we were yeah. sitting there eating Taco Bell. <laughs> oh, my God. There were oh, two guys who were trying were to, yeah. two guys who were definitely trying oh. to get laid. Yeah. But the way they did it was so stupid because they came up. Like, in oh, line yeah. and just small talk, and then they came by and they sat down, and we like just looked us? at them, and they were like, do you want our food? Like, and yes. straight up, me and Bella ate their entire <laughs> nachos, <laughs> and, yeah. Yeah. like, all of their tacos <laughs> and a burrito. It, it was basically, the best thing. <laughs> it was this whole thing. I remember, because it was before they, like, offered it, being like, oh, yeah, do you want our food? Because they sat down with the food, and we're kind of, like, you know, trying to chat us up and whatnot. Allie leans over to me and goes, how long do you think it'll take for them to realize that I'm eating all their nachos? <laughs> and, and I go, I go, I don't know. Let's see. And so, like, you know, I chat a little harder. Well, then Allie and Bella are over here just, like, eating their nachos. <laughs> I have videos of it. <laughs> yeah, no, I have multiple videos of us, like, holding quesadillas and, like, <laughs> like just kissing each other on the cheek, eating quesadillas simultaneously. <laughs> It was fantastic. It was. And then, so then we're like telling them, we're like, we're going to leave. And they're like, oh, you're like going to leave? And we're like, yeah, but like, we're going back to our hotel. So like. Yeah. Like, we're going to leave. You can't. You're not going to leave. You can't Uber with us. Like, we're just going. Yeah. (laughs) So we go. We Uber back to our hotel. It's 5 a.m. I'm fucking trashed still. (laughs) I was so fucking drunk. We get in this weird hallway that like you had to take to go um, back to our hotel. (laughs) Yes. Hey, guys. I bet I can do a back handspring. <laughs> I have videos of this I, also. I, I have to cut you off for one second. Matt yes. Duncan, thank you for the sub and the gifted subs. <gasps> thank you. Thank you. Yay! Thank you, Matt. Yeah, so, mind you, like, nothing's changed. I'm still fucking shit-faced. I have heels on <laughs> and, like, a dress and, like... <laughs> like a tight, like a cocktail dress. Yeah, I mean, we were like, yeah. clubbing. Like, yeah, we were like, clubbing. I was clubbing. And they're like do it and I was like I can do it and they're like all right I believe you I fucking did it oh, and yeah. it was twice it was two I twice two times <laughs> and I it's the most proud I've probably ever been in my life <laughs> cuz I got up and I was like I did it I told you I could do it I did it and I did it I or, did hurt my wrist and it hurt the next day <laughs> but it's fine I don't have any regrets Honestly, for like for the video the video literally is her going she like looks at the camera and you can tell we're all drunk because like it's also kind of like swaying <laughs> and we're like all laughing going yeah it's just an empty hallway because it's like 6 a.m at like the hard rock hotel <laughs> yeah. and we literally she literally goes does like the whole like <laughs> and does the like back hands ring and when she's done she goes <laughs> It was honestly very mad how luxurious. Thank you. It was fancy. <laughs> it was pretty solid. Not so we have a story from Trump is all of. Ooh, yes. yes. I'm struggling because I can't get this to not move. It says, a couple of years back, some friends from France visited over. We did a road trip to Memphis, Tennessee. Lasted like one to two weeks. One of the dudes couldn't shit for a week straight because he wasn't used to greasy American food, so he took some diarrhea pills the day before we <laughs> left Memphis. Driving through the middle of Arkansas, no. and the dude says, I need to shit immediately right now. <laughs> I, for real, he was going to shit in my car. <laughs> we barely made it to a gas station in the middle of the fucking nowhere. This dude ran... <laughs> Sorry, let me scroll down. This dude ran to the door 
and heads immediately to the restroom. Three cowboys showed up a couple minutes later and head to the restroom. When they came back, all three of them were discussing how that was the worst smell they ever <laughs> seen. <laughs> Solid, not gonna lie. Yeah. Greasy foods will do that to ya. Dude, me going to Texas for a week, my fucking oh <laughs> I when I, I went to Texas, so this is a little bit TMI. I didn't shit for the first three three to four fucking days. <laughs> and we were <laughs> mad eating. We were eating all the time. We were in Texas, of course we're gonna eat a shit ton of good food. Obviously. Right. I straight up looked pregnant. So I know what I'm gonna look like pregnant because my stomach was so <laughs> swollen and it wasn't bloated still like swollen. It was like I was like, Jesus Christ, do I have a baby in me? Because I was round. <laughs> and then I took a shit and I was skinny again. <laughs> skinny again. Dead ass. And then I got back from Utah and my dad was like, I, he's like, I need to go to the grocery store. And I was like, oh, I'll go with you because I need also I need to go to the grocery store. And I was like, this might, and then I was like buying all like this like healthy shit. I was like, this might be TMI, but like, I really need to like clean myself out. And he's like, no, I relate. <laughs> and I was like, I'm glad to know that we both have the same issue. Well, it's a good Texas. bonding experience. Yeah, yeah. well, because like me and my dad always joke because my grandma is so graphic sometimes about her shits. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> sometimes she'll call me up and she's like, Yep, I had diarrhea all day yesterday. And I'm like, Grandma. I was like, Please. Do not I'm, tell me about your bowel movements. Grandma, I'm eating curry right now. Can you call back at a different time? Yeah, like it's just like it's just like what? TMI. I don't I don't need to hear about your bowel experiences. The thing is, I might go, come out of the bathroom and be like, "Wow, don't go in there." <laughs> I always joke about my shits. She's just straight up telling me medically about her shits, and I'm like, "Dude, to <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to know everything about it." So like, me and my dad always joke about it. So like. When I was like, I was like, I can't lie. I can't lie to you right now. I was struggling in Texas. He's like, no, don't worry. I was too. I was, I was like, too. bonding. I like to think that medically your grandma calls like, the doctor said if it was two more loose bowel movements, I had to come in. <laughs> You're like, she would. She would, though. She would. She would. I love her to bits, though. She's, she, but she's just such an oversharer sometimes. And I love her, but like, goddamn, I, ah. That literally, it's so funny to hear, like, the differences, because then my grandma is super, like, my mom was raised, she didn't even know the word fart existed until she was a senior in high school. Oh, that's what? impressive. Yeah, yeah. because uh, my grandma always called it uh, fluffers. <laughs> <laughs> and so when they were joking about a fart, um, she goes, oh, sorry, fluffered. <laughs> and then they're like, her friends were like, excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> what? And she's like. Fluffer, you know? And they're like, no, we don't know. <laughs> and this is like, you know, in the 80s. <laughs> they're yeah. like, what? The fuck is a fluffer? She still says that to the de this day. I see her a lot. And um, she also, the older she gets, the more she farts. And does a lot of like the walking grandma farts, you know? <laughs> she'll like walk and go, she'll stop and she'll look back at me and be like, excuse me, fluffer. <laughs> <laughs> Happens every single time I'm there. Every time. And I go, I just laugh uncontrollably and be like, you're good, you're good. <laughs> so Go Eagle says, back in middle school, I used to hang out with the bad crowd. So it was PE, the last period of the day, and some dude brought a smoke bomb, which was colored pink. So the dude threw it in the teacher's <laughs> office. We ran out as fast as we can. Me and the homies were a block from school, and blue smoke was coming out of their building. Fucking got him. Fucking got him. <laughs> Fucking got him. Music obsesses. My uncle is so screamish. He hates... Any body function, French people call them boofs. Boofs! Boofs! boofs. boofs. I actually like that one. Boofs! Yeah, like boofs. That. Like a boofed. A sorry, boofed. I boofed. Sorry, I boofed a little. <laughs> it's like, sorry, I tooted. Yeah, yeah. like a little tooted. It's just yeah. nice it's just in a weirdly boof. cute yeah. way. Pardon, yeah. pardon, I used to pardon say, my boof. <laughs> pardon my boof. <laughs> <laughs> I used to say tooted. Like, I tooted, I tooted. a lot. Mm -hmm. I say tooted a lot. Yeah, yeah. I say a good old toot. That's the weird thing about or like poop. Poot. Poola voodoo. Freer. Freer. I guess like I don't know if this like makes me legendary, but like <laughs> actually yes, I know what you're going to say, and yes. Oh, I thought you were going to talk about the poot laboo memes. Oh, dude, I have so fucking No, many. that's, that's like, the legend. I like that's, that's like a, It's like a trigger word. Like, you say poot, it's like, freer, freer. Free, 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 free poot. Free my mans. <laughs> but, yeah, no, 
96 memes on my laptop. <laughs> <laughs> 96 memes. I counted them. All That's different. Legendary. All different. All different. None of them are duplicates. Yeah. I made sure. Why would I do that to myself? I love, like, still to this day, if you find a poop meme that you haven't seen before. Oh, I and you, like, it. actively look. It. Like, yeah, and you'll save it. I don't actively look, but I do sometimes search <laughs> out <laughs> <laughs> to see if any recent ones come out. <laughs> There's going to be this community that uprises again. I want to be the leader of that one. Honestly, I would be. What you should do yeah. for your new Twitter is you uh, do a poop voodoo meme every day. Yeah. A hundred days of Poot Voodoo. hundred days of Poot. You just need four more Poot Voodoo original memes. Yeah, that's you're fine. fine. Yeah, yeah. Fine. yeah. yeah. you could probably I'm, make your own. <laughs> yeah, honestly, at this point, I could make them on my own, or I can just find them. Because the thing yeah. is, my problem was, also, too, Romina was on that track of pissing yeah. people off with me. Yeah. I was doing it for the love of the game. She was doing it for the anger. <laughs> for the anger. She was like, I just want people pissed at me. She just loved how angry it made people, and I just did it because I thought it was fucking hilarious. So it was good dynamic, because she got yeah. me a big part of those memes. The amount of times that both of them has been kicked from group chats, like multiple group chats, <laughs> yeah. because of the sheer amount of poop voodoo memes that they will just start spamming. We're like, we can't take it. No more poop. Yeah. No more poop. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you can... So theoretically, I could get kicked from your group chat if I just flooded it with poop? Please don't do that. <laughs> I... She wants to, but don't. <laughs> Please don't. We need another way to contact you. I don't think that, I don't know sure. that we can kick you out of this group chat now. Actually, yeah. I don't but know. I don't know. We you... tried to kick someone out once, and we couldn't figure it out. Yeah, I think, I think you have to leave. I think you have to leave because I think that you changed it because initially yeah. you were able to leave group chats, um, except with texting, especially if you had Android and yeah. Apple, you couldn't leave group chats in that oh, sense. Okay. You still can't to this day. You have you can only leave a group chat on your iPhone with an uh, other yeah. iPhone users. And we used to but, use a different platform when we did group chats, like in high yeah. school and stuff. I think like we that, used a lot people. of um, because I know we used we didn't really we used Snapchat a bit, but we also yeah. used Insta fa a Facebook Inst or Facebook Messenger, Facebook Messenger, and then also what was it like GroupMe or something like that. Maybe. Something like that. So <laughs> you're telling me no. Please don't. No one can kick me out. Listen, Ellie. I, <laughs> oh, I don't know which is worse. Ellie, I wanted to leave when the frog memes came out. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> she tried I, to change the subject so hard. <laughs> So hard. I tried so fucking hard. And we were all and everyone was like, no, fuck frogs. you, Bella. It was mostly me and Cass and yeah, frogs. Yeah, no, we were testing one. Nate's like, frogs. frog memes. And Cass and I were like, okay. Because right. we were in quarantine sitting next to each other. We had so many frog memes on deck. Probably 50 frog memes. Oh, yeah. And the thing is, is those were like in my camera roll. Like, those were saved <laughs> ones. Half of those were saved. Half of them were Googled. I'm not going to lie. I, I was I really stuff. hoping That's that my awesome. prompt would change the memes at least. I said, send boobs but not your own, and no one fucking frogs. responded. No one responded. <laughs> We're like, no, more frogs. frog memes. <laughs> frog memes. Frogs. Oh. I guess, like, one thing that I, I, if someone tells me, like, dares me to do something, I will do it. There's yeah, been multiple occasions mm -hmm. where someone's like, do something, and I'm like, no, and they're like, do it, and I'm like, okay, and then I do it. Like licking the carpet? Yeah, I oh still- Oh my god. Um, I can't believe you actually did yeah, that. Yeah, I couldn't believe it when it happened. Like, you said no, and then someone's like, do it, and you're like, all right. Oh, they were like, I'll do it with you, and you're like, no. Okay. Here's the only <laughs> reason, is because I was- I was- because I knew- because, so, like, Nate told me to do it, and I knew he was doing it to be a bitch, and so I was like, no, I'm not gonna do it. And then, I think it was Kai? I think Kai said that he would do it with he you. He said- Kai said he would do it with me, and I was like, fuck it, if someone else is doing it with me, I'm gonna do it. So I left the fucking carpet, and I realized, I did it afterwards, and I instantly was like, I hate myself, but at least I wasn't the only one. What, what are you kind of carpet about? are you talking about? Um, probably a carpet that hasn't been cleaned in ten years. Yeah. Plus. And it has Ooh. multiple dogs. All the time. Mm. Multiple dogs. Like, it's vacuumed every time that someone leaves, but, but like, like, there's lots there's of people probably puking, or possibly- so many people there. Yeah. But I don't think Kai knew that. I don't think that Kai knew the sheer amount of people that had been to that place. Yeah, and like dogs and like and just dogs everything just in general. Shoes. People with muddy boots and yeah. like, it's a cabin in the woods. Yeah, and not yeah. like yeah. So yeah, yeah. Anyways, looking the carpet was pretty legendary. Not gonna yeah. lie. Yeah, I, I wish I had a video of it. Honestly, yeah. Same. I think one of your most legendary moments is a couple of years ago. Also at the cabin, uh, we were all Ooh. been drinking for a while. And, um, uh, Jesus is the one, you know, that, uh, I got depression song yeah. came on 
Holly fucking stands up on a chair, takes her shirt off, and wraps the whole fucking <laughs> song. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty great. <laughs> Someone oh has a video of that. God. It's not me. I wish it was me. I think, I think it's about me. it a lot. <laughs> I think I might have. A, I might have a video of it because I think it also has your face. And you're like watching. You're like, like this is the best thing ever. <laughs> yeah. Because I, I also have a video of Brody twerking as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. and everyone. That is also. We had like this dare yeah, jingle. Ooh, yeah. dare jingle was fucking rip. Do you need more? Yeah, yeah, I so. <laughs> uh, We had this dare Jenga, and one was like twerk for 30 seconds or something. And our friend Brody was like, I don't know how to twerk, but I can dance. And we're like, okay. And he's like, or at least I can try. And there's just this video of him just kind of like going like this and like going along. And everybody, there's like 10, 12 people at this table. Yeah. And we're all like hitting the table going, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's and so like, we're all like screaming, going, yeah. And he's like, Hyped up, <laughs> my God. He's, like, hey. he's like, I'm fucking hot. Shit, look at me. It was honestly a really lit ass moment. It's like a pretty wholesome video for what it is. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I'm just imagining you guys doing the, you know, the SNL clip with um Pete Davidson, I think, and it's like skirt, skirt, yeet, yeet, <laughs> <laughs> all the fucking <laughs> Timothy Chalamet. Yes. Yeah. That's almost I'm exactly. just imagining you guys doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all Brody's just like trying to back it up. Is it fat enough? Yeah, it's fat enough. Yeah, I, if anyone tells me to do something, I probably will most likely do it. Yeah. For the, for the love of the meme, yeah. there was one time with um, uh, Kai Curtis, uh, Forrest's <laughs> Shouts brother. Out. Shouts out. Shouts out. Um, we I'll were having that. a Christmas party, and uh, I was, we had Sour Patch Kids, and I, I put a Sour Patch Kid in my mouth, and it fell out of my mouth, and he picked it up, put it in his mouth, and then spit it out. And then I picked it up, put it in my mouth, and spit it out. And he picked it up and put it in his mouth and spit it out. And I put it in my mouth, spit it out, and then he fucking ate it. I was so mad because I was like, I was going to eat it this last turn because I lost all of its fucking sourness. <laughs> <laughs> At that point. That was the same night that uh, he sucker punched me in the gut yeah. and put me in a headlock. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, all right, you win. <laughs> yeah. That was also the, the same night that we had, it was our first co-ed sleepover oh, our God. senior year. <laughs> <laughs> kind of precious. And it was back when Nate and Cass first started dating. And yeah. so we were horny bastards. Fucking horny bastards. Fucking yeah. four, like one forty in the morning. They like they're like, oh, we're gonna go get some McDonald's. And like everyone's <laughs> asleep. <laughs> everyone's, everyone's fucking asleep. And I wake up and I'm like, they're going to get McDonald's. Hell yeah! I guess we're gonna open presents soon. So I I don't fall fully back asleep. Forty five fucking minutes later, they come in and I was like, you motherfuckers did not just go get McDonald's. <laughs> we were like, the line was long. <laughs> Like you bastards, you bastards! I've never seen Ska like Cass wear more skirts in a time period oh, yeah. when they started dating. <laughs> Big facts. Big facts. We we're really into which is a know. commitment because you guys started dating in winter. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! And you were wearing skirts all the time. Yeah, Easy no. access. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, respect. Yeah. Respect. You know, it was a good time. It was a good time. I, you know, that I'm like we're on stream. That's a little too inappropriate. <laughs> I think that one of my, like, the back handspring is, like, probably up there on my legendary moments. Yeah, but nice. this is the most legendary moment I think that exists. Well, actually, there's really two. Kaz told me earlier today that I was a master at secret puking. Um, yeah. Big fact. Yeah. This, this has been brought up before. Yeah, yeah. this yeah. one time, Nate was driving me home. I was fucking fucked up. I was so fucked up. And Cass was more fucked up than me. Oh, yeah. Like, they like I was, like, pass it. Like, I was black. They out. wouldn't let us into the bar, but we knew the bartender. And the bartender comes out, she's like, just let him in. And they were like, they're, like, fucked up. She's like, it's just fine. They're not going to fuck anything up. It's fine. I puked in the bathroom. Cass was puking in the bathroom. <laughs> Nate finally, like, takes us home. And I told Cass to throw up in her lap if she's going to throw up. For some reason. But I told Stoney's mom about this the other day, and she was like, of course you would. That makes way more sense than trying to, like, tell a drunk-ass person to throw up out the window. They're not going to throw up out the window. And I was like, I'm glad we're on the same wavelength here. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Anyways, 
also, okay, I'll get to that. But anyways, so we're driving home. Nate's like, Bella, are you going to puke? And I was like, no. My windows rolled down on the freeway. And he's like, are you going to puke? And I was like, no. No, I'm not going to puke. I'm totally fine. And he's like, I don't believe you. I fucking throw up at the window. <laughs> and he turns around and he's like, did you just puke? And I was like, no. <laughs> and he was like, <laughs> he was like, I don't believe you. Let me take a picture of you right now. And I was like, do it. <laughs> and there's a picture of me in the back of Nate's car after I just puked out the window. And I'm going, like, <laughs> she's like, <laughs> honestly, like a but, school picture, like but, <laughs> straight up cute ass picture. Actually, it's really kind good. of really good. It's a cute picture of yeah. me. And then we get home, Cass threw up in her lap, so Nate takes yeah. her inside to like clean her up. It's fine. But I try to take the seat cover off of Nate's front seat but I was so drunk that I like couldn't stand up all the way to do it so I was like trying to get it off and like falling over but everyone else was inside <laughs> anyways that's just a side note on that story that's not even the one I was gonna tell that was hilarious <laughs> but this one time Cass and I were going to prohibition for burlesque night and we were like this is gonna be so dope and I was like yeah this is gonna be dope and so, here's the thing. Cass and I know each other pretty well. I know what alcohol she likes. She knows what alcohol I like. We, know, we like the same flavor. Like, we yeah. like, we know the flavors that we like. Mm -hmm. Prior to this, um, I was really into grapefruit vodka. I don't know if I can drink grapefruit vodka after this experience. Fair. I have not drank it since this experience. I think now maybe I could handle it, but it's been a solid, like, what, like two years probably? Yeah. It's been a long time since this happened. Anyways, um... We drank probably three shots before we left the bar, okay? Yeah. Maybe more than that. Yeah, because we, we just filled up this bottle, like this, like... Like a water bottle like with vodka. Vodka. And we had another water bottle full of juice or something, and we, like, we drank the whole thing on the way there yeah. between the two of us. Mm -hmm. And, um, At, like, it wasn't Uber. fully full, but it was, like... It was, like, a decent Probably, amount. like, more than half full. Yeah. And, um... Really quick, side note, in Prohibition, did it, like, did you fall for the, this is just a furniture store at first? No. <laughs> did you? I could see what you mean, because when I dropped them off before I left for Texas, I was like, where the fuck are we? <laughs> yeah, I went in and I was like, hey, is this the bar? And they were like, no. And I was like, oh, do you know where Prohibition is? And they were like, no. And I was like, okay, cool. And then a couple walked in and just went straight through, and I was like, uh, so can I, can I get in there? And they were like, I don't know, can you? <laughs> <laughs> Those sassy bastards. Every single time I've gone to Prohibition, I've gotten way too drunk. Facts. Every single time. And the last time was so recently that, like, we were the only table fucked up. Like, fucked up. Everyone else was, like, probably sober, and the four of us, it wasn't even everyone here, it was, like, me and Cass and, like, two girls that I work with, we were fucked up at Prohibition, and we were, like, screaming and, like, <laughs> like being drunk girls yeah. at this fucking burlesque show. We were high. It was the best. It was the best. My friend gets back from, like, her boyfriend drops off her duel. She comes back in. She's like, we just fucked in this truck. And I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, we're all like, we're like what? what? <laughs> but anyway, so, pre okay, so before. So, Cass and I drank a lot before we got to the bar. Nice. We get to the bar, and Cass and I, and I'm telling Cass, we're like, I was like, listen, Do I, I think we should try a game where, like, maybe, like, we order drinks for each other. And she was like, yeah, 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 that sounds like a great idea. And I was like, yes. Yeah. I still think it's a great idea. Honestly, it's kind of cute because it's then, really like, cool. you get to try new things. Yes, yeah. yeah, you try new things, but, like, they yeah. know what you like, so it's not like you're going to get something bad. Yeah. You're just not going to necessarily order, like, what you maybe first thought you were going to order, right? Right. So, anyways, then... We took, like, a shot and maybe drank one drink, and then I think we both got new drinks. Yeah, we got also. new drinks. We got new drinks... And I, we were sitting outside, and then I was like, hey, I need to pee. She's like, okay, cool. I go in the bathroom. I pee. Realize how fucked up I am. And then I come back to the table, and I'm telling Cass, I'm like, hey, I ordered us an Uber, because I'm fucked up. We need to leave. And she was like, all right, okay, 
it's yeah. fine. The bar was it was like one a.m. anyway, so, yeah, like, so it was like the bar was going to be closing soon. Yeah, and so it wasn't really a big deal. Well, <laughs> I was really drunk, and we're in the Uber, and luckily he had leather seats. Okay, luckily he had leather seats, but anyways, <laughs> so. I'm like sitting there, we're driving home, we're just chatting, whatever, kind of quietly, doing our thing. The guy has music on, he's not talking to us at all. We're it's obviously dark. trash. It's, yeah, we were obviously trash. And like the, like he has music on kind of loud anyways, like whatever. Well, I start taking things out of my purse and setting them next to me and Cass is like, um, and I was like, don't worry about it. It's fine. I had a fur purse. It was fur. Oh, fur oh, yeah. and not like real fur. It was just like, like, but it was white fur. <laughs> and I'm like pulling out the things in my purse that like are valuable, um, like my phone, your wallet, my keys, my wallet. Yeah. But there was like still some stuff in there, like chapstick and like some cash. And um, I start bringing my purse up to my mouth. So Cass just starts talking louder. So that the Uber driver doesn't hear me fucking puking in my purse. <laughs> so I'm puking in my purse, but it's going straight through my fucking purse all over me. Oh, no. And so I'm just sitting there puking in my purse while it's just drenching me. And then we get to my house finally, and we're like sitting there, and I'm like, I have to get out first, obviously, because he can't see me covered in puke. <laughs> yeah. So, no. we get out of the car. I'm, like, scooting out to make sure that everything is, like, dry. It was. It was fine. Yeah. Everything was fine. There was no charges. puke yeah. in the car. <laughs> yeah, no charges. Uh-huh. We get out of the car. I walk in the house, and all the boys are in my room. And I'm like, guys, I just threw up in my purse. <laughs> and they're looking at her, covered in puke, <laughs> holding a dripping bag. Oh, no. <laughs> and I, like, stumble in and go, it was badass. <laughs> <laughs> Top five most impressive moments of my life. Yeah. Not going to lie. Yes. I'm very proud of that moment. I showered and like changed my clothes and got in my bed and yelled about pickled onions for oh, like 15 yeah. minutes. We also have a video of that. You were like, onions, they're so good. And then you hear Nate go, Cass can't eat them though because I'm allergic to onions. And then you go, what? She doesn't count. <laughs> yeah, it's great. It's a good one. It's a good one. Yeah. I'm trying to think of legendary moments for me, and I can't, I'm like, this one time we were in the car on Halloween, and I have a video, I'm videoing myself, and Cass is talking to our friend that was driving, and Cass is in the... (laughs) In my video, I'm videoing myself. I'm trash. My fucking nipples are out. Oh, yeah. Because my shirt is falling down. Otherwise, I'd show it to you because it's hilarious. But you hear Cass in the background. She goes, oh, I better. He better not fucking be there. I'll beat his ass if he's drinking. And, and, my, and our friend is in the back. She's like, I know. I know. <laughs> I I was ready to fight that. Girl. I know you were. I was so ready. Because it was my friend. It was her ex that was going to be there or something. And she's like all worried about me. Like, she was so nervous. That we pulled over to a gas station because she thought she was gonna puke because she was so nervous, mm-hmm. and she was our DD. And so I was like, I swear to God, I'll kick in that door and I'll fuck him up. <laughs> I was like, I will. You just say the word. Just say the word. I'll fucking fight him. <laughs> I might you. I'm not gonna lie. That night I was pretty drunk. So that car ride, I don't remember the car ride because I was like high key, low key, like napping. And then we get to our friend's house party, and then I was awake. I remember that, yeah. Yeah, so, that was the first time I ever made out with somebody I didn't know. Was oh, at that yeah. party. Well, okay, because I kind of <laughs> knew him. At a different, the same friend's party, I met this guy. And you want to know why I was able to, like, get in with this guy? Because I remembered his fucking name. It I was, was like, not wow. a fucking hard name. It was the most <laughs> white boy name. And I was like, oh. Jeff. <laughs> Close. Close. <laughs> but I was like, oh, you're... Yeah, and he was like, yeah. And then somehow we ended up downstairs and we were making out, and I was like, baller. Baller. I have a badass fight story. Fight. Well, it's like a... Ooh. It's a defending an ex's honor story. Ooh. Um, so I dated someone who lived in Brigham for a time period. And, Damn, uh, that's fine. 
Yeah, I. She didn't. She was from there. She oh, lived down yeah. there. We were up there visiting. I didn't know much about Brigham, but like, I heard it's like very like, you know how like here in Salt Lake you have like LDS and then kind of like everyone else. Yeah. Up there yeah. it's like the extremes on both sides like really hard. Oh. Like, you know, lots of either like hardcore drug slash like you know, counterculture, and then straight, like, the hardest core LDS. Oh, so we're driving around up there, I'm just kind of, like, figuring out the area, and there's, like, this dude driving just, like, a little, you know, fucking wannabe Honda with a muffler, and it doesn't go fast or all. And uh, she's like, oh, I went to high school with that kid. And I'm like, oh, cool. So we end up at the Walmart, and he's there with, like, one of his friends, and like they come up and start talking to her. I'm like, I was like, oh cool, I'm like, hey, what's up, man? And uh my ex at the time wore like she wore like a lot of like really high short shorts, so her ass would hang out a lot. Yeah. I don't know why. Her own thing. And I That's remember why. as we were walking out, this kid comes up and like, you got a fat ass now, and smacks her ass like hard as shit. Oh, and, like, oh fuck no. And I just like immediately like I'm like, no. Nope. So I like I hit that kid in the head really hard, and he like falls on the ground. Yeah. And his buddy's like, "What the fuck, man?" And his buddy swings at me, and like in the Matrix, I'm just like, "Nope." <laughs> and like I go with my left hand and hit him in the head, and he falls on the ground. And I look at her, and I'm like, oh, "Brigham's a bunch of pussies." <laughs> and she like, because I'm not like, I'm not like a aggressive type of person. Yeah. And she's like, "What the fuck just happened?" And I'm like, "Shit, we gotta go." But like, what was that? And I'm like. I don't know. I, I don't know. Throwing some hands in my day. <laughs> I was throwing a couple hands. Yeah, back in a my couple, day. couple fisties. I want to hear my dad. I, the older I get, the more I love my dad. Because I already loved my dad, but like now that we're like we're homies, yeah, he tells me all of the stories. That's how it is with me and my uncle. It's <laughs> great. It's a great bond. One of his, I think, one of his most legendary stories, which kind of goes to your story, is. In high school, so my kid, my dad, he kind of, I realized the more I, like, look back on myself, I'm like, damn, I am a carbon copy of my dad. Because in middle school, we were, we both were the same, where we were stocky and a little bit, like, a little bit bigger. But because, like, we haven't grown into our bodies yet. Because, like, he was, like, short and, like, what you, like, what they would call, like, husky. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. as in like a proper way. Yeah. And so he was like a short husky kid. And then in high school, he kind of glowed up a little bit. But he was still like not super strong. But then he became like the tall, lanky, 80s band hair. And he lived in like conservative. He lived in a uh, Cedar, Cedar City in uh, Texas, which at the time had like a graduating class of like 100 it was a small fucking town. Itty bitty. And yeah. so for him being like the eighties hairband kid was kind of like a little off, but he like was the edgy one. Kind of, but not really. Edgy kid. Cause but like cause it was so small, like you couldn't really be edgy because like you kinda knew everybody. Like you couldn't really be that much of an outcast, but like mm-hmm. cause he had his friends. But there was these guys that would always like pick on him and there was one guy in particular that was just ruthless to my dad and always trying to fight him. And, like, would always kind of win because he was bigger than my dad. Then my dad graduated, left for the fucking army, got stationed in Oklahoma. He was, like, <laughs> he was like all of all the fucking places. I had to be, like, three, three hours from my mom's house. So he would visit. The most epic part was he went into the army, got hella buff, came back. And then basically his one like one person that wouldn't just fucking leave him alone, he saw him at a party and he was like, you right there. And the guy started like running and my dad kind of got him cornered <laughs> and my dad swung on him and the guy was trying to duck and just, like, bam, right into the head. The guy was like blacked out, out cold. Nice. And my dad was like, well, I don't know the doctor. Mm. <laughs> like, my dad's like, I've never broken a bone, but I fractured the fuck out of my hand punching that guy's head. Because the thing is, he couldn't Perfect. like punch his yeah. face. Mm-hmm. He like bent Everyone down like he was trying to duck, so he got him like right in the skull. Oh. Damn. Ooh. So yeah, the, de- the stories my dad tells me nowadays, I'm like, yeah, I got, I was so watched over. I was like, what is this? 
<laughs> then again, my dad's my upbringings are two completely different things. My dad was basically a grown adult by 14, 15. Yeah. But yeah, that was like, that's my dad. My dad's fucking great. Cool fella, cool fella. Yeah. Cool fella. This, this cool one fella. time, a couple months ago, uh, Cass invited me to a party because we like had plans and she was invited to a party. <laughs> and um, I love this. <laughs> I would say this is a legendary moment for both of us. Honestly, yeah. Top, it was the top, a top five moment, I'd say. Yeah, definitely. Well, so they tell us they're trying to party. Cass and I are like, yeah, we uh, know how yeah, to party. We know how to party. Yeah. Okay. We throw fucking. Epic parties. Yeah. We had a birthday party for me like two weeks ago with like, you know, a small group because like COVID, but like fucking epic. Not gonna lie. I saw the fridge yeah. mural. Oh. Yeah, it's Put still it up, up, by the yeah. way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a cool mural. There's a lot of good Polaroids. I showed my nipples yeah. to too many people. Oh, yeah. Lots yeah. of nips out. I'd gotten them pierced. I had to show everyone. Yeah. But like, ooh, right? Yeah. I'll show you later, little okay. girl. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so anyways, this party, like, <laughs> guys, is like, yeah, these are like my friends from high school. They're trying to like drink and play games, and I was like, oh, we can definitely do that. She's like, yeah. yeah. So we pregame before we go. Obviously, what we usually do before we go to parties. Before we go anywhere. Like, yeah. I don't want to share all my alcohol. Yeah. And on top of that, like. People can't reach my level most of the time. Yeah. Like, I'm an OG. Uh, we both are. Like, I can drink way more than everyone else most of the time. Yeah. And so, like, and also, like, if I'm, like, not really sure of people, like, I drink before because I can be more sure of my situation if I'm already comfortable before I get there, right? Yeah. So, anyways, we drink before. I have, like, a Jeep Renegade with, like, the removable top. And um, Stone is driving us there. We pull up, they're not there yet. And we were like, oh, no problem. We'll just... No problem. Stunny can drive us around this neighborhood, and we'll pull up looking so fucking cool. With the top... With the top <laughs> off, and <laughs> us standing outside of it. We're drunk! <laughs> and I'm, like, t- talking Stunny into this, and I was like, hey, listen. Here's what I need you to do. <laughs> I want you to help me take the top off of my Jeep, and then drive us around the neighborhood a few times... So that we could stand out the window and have like a movie moment. And yeah. he was like, Yeah, I'll do it. And we were like, <laughs> Cool. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes. So we're doing that. We're driving around. It's like 10 30 at night. It's not even late. Yeah. Like, we're, he's driving us around. We're outside the window, like, <laughs> <laughs> we're, probably, we're listening to music on full bus. And we're like, Woohoo! are this residential neighborhood. Yeah. It's fucking beautiful. Okay. I love it. Yeah. Not that I haven't done this before. We had done this oh, recently. Yeah. This is also like, uh, yeah. Bella's a very spontaneous person in the sense of like, we were doing something and then it was like a little late. She stops the car and goes, you guys want to do something fun? Yeah. <laughs> you want to have your perks of being a wildflower moment? Yeah. And she's like, let's take the top off of this car. <laughs> <laughs> and then we all picked our own individual songs yeah, and all got out, out there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so, anyways, oh, I can think of another thing. <laughs> I think it's fucking hilarious. But anyways, so then, um, we finally, again, pull up to this house. They're still not fucking there. So we did all this for nothing, to show up looking fucking cool. Yeah. They didn't even see it. Mm-hmm. And then this girl that we were talking about earlier, actually, she's there sitting in her car. We go up to her car and we're like, do you see that? She's like, see what? And we we're like, what? I saw out of the car. Did, did you not see us? Drive, like, we're already drunk. We're, we're, <laughs> we're, like, really drunk. It's just like, no, I didn't see anything. We were like, well, well you literally didn't see anything? She's like, no. And I was like, hmm. listen, we pulled up to this party. Okay, yeah. we pulled, pulled up. up. And she's like, I wasn't even invited. And we were like, oh, oh okay, well, this is not we were, so we're going to, like, I don't know. <laughs> we're going to go now. Theater nerd. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That ended up being, like, a really dramatic thing. Like, I don't know. This also, for reference, is the same person who um, professed uh, her love for yeah. Allie. Yeah. No oh, way. Yes. It was. It was. The same she person. definitely fucking saw us. I know she, she saw us. Does. I know oh, she saw us. She's just there's said, no yeah. way. She also, did it. <laughs> side note, it's become kind of a joke to me because this person always, like, Text Cass like, hey, Ali doesn't talk to me anymore. Like, How is she? And I'm like, okay, you oh. never message me ever. Yeah. So So she still loved you. One hundred I mean <laughs> 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 But 
I still think this is funny sober. But drunk off my ass in the same naked weekend. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I forgot about At this. At one point, no. Tess was like snapping Cass. And so I was like, hey, send a picture of me. So we oh took gosh, a selfie. Oh my gosh, that was so funny. And then she the woman me. was like, okay. <laughs> is Allie trying to make me jealous? Because if so, she's succeeding. So I snapped her. I forgot about that. For the first that. time in like years also. And it was definitely a snap of like me and Nate and someone else. Just like random people yeah. from her high school, and I was like, yeah. "Hey, how you doing?" Oh my god! And she savage. was like, I love it. "Savage!" <laughs> she was like, "Oh, I'm good. How are you doing?" And then I was like, "I'm engaged," which and she then, is. <laughs> oh, congratulations! I am sort of. Eh. Uh. <laughs> it's a nippy situation, <laughs> but I left it at that. And then I turned off my Snapchat. Oh my god. I still haven't read her reply. Are you serious? Oh. She literally kept messaging me afterwards, and I was like, I remember crawling into the, because Allie and I shared a bed at that place, and I crawled into the bed and go, Allie, what did you do? <laughs> <laughs> that poor girl's just somewhere, like, she's sitting there with, like, her pictures of you on the wall. Like, she's like, oh, she's way back. I'll be a better marriage. I love her more. This same girl, like, is doing a job that I used to do, and I was, like, trying to relate to her, and she just basically talked shit on me for, like, five minutes and was like, I'm a better groomer than you. But she didn't say that. She just basically, like, she basically said it, but she didn't say it, and I was just like, You know what's weird? This is like, a wild situation. I feel like I know who this person is, like, like they... I know the name. No, we already yeah, said the yeah, name. Yeah, we already said the name. But I feel like we I know something else about her, like, I feel like her name got brought up in another podcast at some point. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I don't know. I don't to know. reference what kind of person she is, she hated me in high school because, one, I helped Cass out in a very dire situation, yeah. and then she also just needed a girl to hate, and I was that girl, and I was like, don't burritos. She also... She gets I, really frenzied all this as well. She does, and yeah. also she kind of hates women. Yeah. A little bit. She I, I have a feeling that the reason she, like, basically said a whole bunch of, like, things about like she didn't say things directly about me but like we were talking about what she does and how I used to do it and I was like listen like I'm not trying to be on your level like I was a really good like this when I was that and that it, it is what it is it's been years now and she was like I can groom circles around most people and I was like all right like, okay. <laughs> I don't give a oh, shit oh, oh, but she likes I'm gonna challenge she made, now Oh, oh she no! Made, let's fucking go, dude. Hey, hey. She's a dog groomer, and she thinks she's like fucking like top shit. And I'm not, like, she's she showed me photos. I'm like, yeah, they were really good. But will you invite her to my podcast? No. Can I just sit I down and say, hey, listen, <laughs> on a scale of one to ten, how much do you love Allie? Oh, wow. <laughs> That'll be the first question. I'll I'll she pretend would the, she, she would, would oh, she would leave. absolutely she would leave. stand up and she fucking would stand leave. Up perfect. <laughs> she would be like, I don't think you should. I I yeah. mean I I watch it. Oh, I would Allie, it. Allie's the I single would viewer. Like, no, I don't want to yes. be a pig. I'm just joking. Uh, I don't yeah. <laughs> She's a nice person. Like, don't get me wrong. It was just like a weird situation, and I think it's mostly because like I was there with Cass, obviously, and like I obviously <laughs> spent more time with Cass, and she was like, no. Not let me let me make you feel bad about something and I was like you took two shots and you're fucking trash like I was trash when I got here but now like I'm fine and you're not fine yeah. does she hate women because she like because she's in love with you yeah is she openly like I think that she is intimidated by women more than she hates women it's more yeah. like it's like I haven't met her like a ton of times like I don't have like a, a full opinion of her it's just been like the few times that I have met her She's come off very abrasive, and it's been more mm -hmm. like, like she is intimidated by the relationships that you have with someone that she's close to. Yeah, and I feel like she also, she's very like, "Fuck you, you're my competition." Yeah, and because of the Mormon Church, that's how she was raised. As yeah. like men are the ultimate goal, so women are obviously competition. Mm, that's fair. Yeah. In that sort of a way, it, it's a lot of like, um, like, 
like learned behavior. Yeah. yeah and she yeah, also yeah, she yeah. was raised like her family fucking psychos. I, I know insane. I know her insane. older sister and I'm like You're like, this explains a lot. It explains so fucking much. Yeah. No, it's but, like it's like this sister literally at one point. Uh, oh yeah, I was like, oh yeah, how's your family doing and all that? And she's like, oh, the last text I have with my sister is my sister like texting me to kill myself. Oh lord. Yeah. yeah. So she, yeah. she's like going through it, and like I understand yeah. like her she being is. like a little fucked up from no, that. I feel bad making jokes. But, <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, yeah. No, no like she's okay. like had like a fucked up. Sort it, of. it it sucks, but like. I also mean, doesn't you know justify. like I don't think yeah. any single person in this room had like an unfucked up childhood. I don't <laughs> I don't know about your childhood or your well being. I don't know, but I can definitely say that four out of four women sitting in this room <laughs> definitely didn't live the ideal uh, <laughs> um, childhood. And I'm still a fucking great person. <laughs> I'm still a good time all the time. Yeah. Big facts. And at that party. We showed them. All oh, time. yeah. So, anyways, <laughs> at, at start, we fucking walk in. Bring it all back. We fucking walk in already drunk, okay? We walk in and they're like, hey guys, we're like thinking about playing Monopoly. And I was like, no. <laughs> we, we pull out bottles. I don't think so. <laughs> we literally brought two bottles with us and they were like, oh, you guys are like trying to like drink, drink. And we were like, what, yeah. what did you guys mean? What? You said party. <laughs> so, like, what did. When you invited us and you said we were like drinking and playing games, what exactly? What did you what did mean? You? Like, I, thought, yeah, I like, thought we were like. I'd love a good champagne and monopoly. Right. Not to yeah, trap, see, so. that would be a good time. We were not under this impression. We were thinking, fucking, we're fat, we're Rager. like frat boys. Yeah, yeah because like, we're like, when we hear games and drinking, we're like, oh, we're yeah. Like, oh, we're playing beer pong? Yeah. yeah. Like, maybe we're going to play page. Jenga? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Or I'm like, with that. Or you can make a monop like make up a monopoly game or like any board game yeah. and make it into a drinking game somehow or yeah. exactly. Candy Land best drinking game. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah. So we're thinking yeah. we're there to get trashed. They don't say a fucking word to us. <laughs> they didn't say anything. We're getting drunk. There's other two other people there that are like yes. <laughs> they are also getting yeah. that are also Check getting more. trashed. Right. <laughs> well. We're there for like an hour and a half, at which point some guy's like, yeah, I, he like lives there, right? He's like, yeah, I like have to work tomorrow. And we were like, what? <laughs> and he's like, yeah, like, I think we're probably going to end this around midnight. And we were like, ah, uh, I don't think so. What do you mean? What? I, I don't think you mean what you think you mean. Yeah. This is good. What is this? So, so then I'm like, does anyone want, does anyone here want to learn how to shotgun? I can teach you. Yeah. We I, didn't, I didn't know how to shotgun. I don't know. <laughs> and Cass didn't know. I Both know of us were like, we've done this okay. before. We don't know. How to we're do like, it. you stab it and then hope for the best. <laughs> I learned like a week later yeah. how to fucking do it, and yeah. I was so embarrassed that I taught someone how to do it so wrong. But we teach this guy in the backyard how to do it, and he's like, this is cool. He does it so much better than we did because I just like yeah. got like white claw all over myself because yeah it was fucking white claw yeah. oh, because yes. that's the kind of drinking they were looking to do yeah oh, and we were like no we'd already been we were already drinking before I got there yeah he's like that was dope I only drink whiskey and we were like now you drink white claw <laughs> yeah <laughs> we're like now you drink more than that and yeah. he's like sitting there the whole time and Cass and I are like talking to him and we're like do it again he's like yes. <laughs> he's like, the guy that lives there comes out. He's like, guys, like I really have to work tomorrow. Like we have to shut this down. And we were like, mm. <laughs> 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 no, because then also the girl that we were talking about ended up leaving earlier yeah, she because had... she was she was sleeping with that guy who lived at the house and it yeah tea right yeah. And... <laughs> right oh. right <laughs> baby care remember that remember that yeah like can't find there... the hole yeah. Yeah. going on with the other person who lived there because his girlfriend like was asking about another girl and he was like no 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 like she didn't text me for that reason and I'm sitting there staring at them while they're having this conversation and she like gets um fucking pissed off they neither of them noticed that I was just staring at them the whole time watching and she gets up fucking leaves and I was like 
Is As someone else is talking at me this entire time. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you. Yeah. And I'm like, are you like watching this? Like, what am I? What you seeing this drama? Like, she did something it, happen? She did not see the drama. She was just really enthralled and telling me whatever she was telling me. Yeah. yeah. And, <laughs> and eventually, like, we're like, all right, all right, we'll leave. We'll leave. It's fine. We'll leave. So then, I'm trying to call Stony to come pick us up. Because we live down the street from this person, but, like, a mile away. Yeah, we're like, and, we like, yeah. we have to, like, walk down the street and then walk up my street. It's, like, a whole yeah. thing. And so I'm trying to call Starny. He's not answering. And I'm like, fuck, it's, like, midnight. How are we going to fucking get home? Like, and there's also two other people who are also fucking trashed now because we went there and got and them got fucking trashed. And got trashed. And no one comes <laughs> rides home. No one. <laughs> They're all there, like, we can't drive now. We're, like... We're Oops. getting a ride, but, uh... I've called Stoney, like, 20 times. He's not answering. Mm-hmm. Cass calls her brother's friend, and is like, Hey, man, I need a ride home. I'm like, you what, get me? what are you and doing? And he's like, yes. <laughs> he comes, picks us up. It's fucking OG guy. Yeah. Drives me he's home. fantastic. I walk in. Stoney's asleep in our bed with his phone on his chest. Motherfucker. <laughs> on silent. God, and silent. I was like, you fucking bitch. And I woke him up, and I was like, Thanks for coming and picking me up. He's like, how'd you get home? <laughs> and, I was like, and I was like, um, Gabe had to come pick us up. <laughs> and he was like, Gabe? Like, like Gabe, Gabe? And I was like, yes, <laughs> yes. And he was like, he drove all the way from Wayton? And I was like, oh, no. He did. <laughs> yeah. No, he didn't. He drove from your house. Oh, yeah. Oh, he yes. was at my house. I think yeah. I saw on his snap maps that he was over at my house. Yeah. And then I was like, hello, are you awake? We, we had and other summer? options before we called. Well, we had other options if he wasn't nearby. Yeah. But like, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Anyways. But he so. was nearby and awake. And I think everybody else was like doing it was something. like 1230, something like that. Yeah. That probably one of our best moments though. Oh, yeah. Honestly, I'm one. so proud of it that we just fucking wrecked this party. <laughs> we just went and in like a They don't hour. know how to party. I'm just convinced of it. They've never been to a real fucking party. No. Because yeah. listen, we throw dope parties and yeah. like yeah. they didn't they weren't ready for us. No. I can't <laughs> tell you the amount of times I've gone to Utah parties where like so my friends knew how to throw parties, and like, yeah. like mm-hmm. yeah. I would go to these parties and be like, "What in the fuck is going on?" It's like a bunch of people yeah. sitting in a circle. I almost felt like, like oh I was a God. teacher, like telling them, "Like, hey, you, put some fucking music on." Yeah, it's quiet in here. Why is it I quiet? I can hear people breathing. Yeah, <laughs> the, like, throwing fucking ragers is a skill. Yeah, and like we have it. Yes, yes. Yeah, I've got it. Kaz has it. Holly has it. Mm-hmm. Allie has it. We. D- you have to know. What you need. You don't need food necessarily, just no, by the way. That. Throwing a rager is not expensive. No. It's not expensive no. at all. Like, People no. have to learn how to figure out food on their own. Yeah. It's well, like it's DoorDash. That's or, the thing. I, or, I order pizza a lot for parties. And listen, listen. Or you bring food and you have plans for food and oh then everyone God. fucking comes with food. And you're like, exactly. like that happened last night. That, that happened for Mel's birthday. Because oh, girl, we bought. It still got eaten. It's oh, yeah, we. Ugh. Yeah. Well, once it's I still in the basement. No, I threw it away. Oh, you threw it oh, away? Good. I'm oh, like, God, I, I, God. Dude, what I did, I was like, because there was only like a tiny bit of pizza left, and I was not going to touch it. That was in the basement for like two weeks. I was like, disgusting. Yeah. So basically, I could, it was one of those giant ones. From Big Daddy's. From Big yeah. Daddy's. 26 inch pizza. Yeah. yeah. It did not fit in my back seat. <laughs> yeah. It, big boy. Basically, what I had to do was stand on this pizza wide leg. Fucking rip it back, fold it in half, stomp on it a shit ton, fold it again, stomp on it a shit ton, and I was able to fit it in our trash. Because we don't have a dumpster, we only have a trash can. Yeah. So yeah, I was like, yeah, fuck, yeah. what do I do? Because yeah. I also had so much other trash in the house from the party that I still needed to clean up because yeah. of just like, because the thing is, I, the day before, spent eight hours cleaning the house oh my God. on Thursday, and we had the party on Saturday. So the trash was already full Thursday. And it doesn't mm-hmm. go out until Wednesday. So it was already full. So I was like, I can't fit anymore in here. And I actually brought, broke one of the fucking bottles of uh, vodka yeah. on the, the driveway because it was in like a sh- fucking Smith's bag. And when Aiden took out the trash, he put it on the fucking top. No. And so then when I was trying to clean up more trash sat- Sunday, it was like dark. Yeah. And I was putting, like, I literally lifted the thing and I, all I heard was this shh. I was like, motherfucker, who? <laughs> and then I, I'm still lifting it up, and I 
hear rustling and the second bottle of vodka was about to fall out and so i catch it and i'm like this asshole puts glass on the top of the trash can because i made this powerful jungle juice this jungle juice two cups heard, fucked. yeah oh, oh that, that's what it was good it yeah, was good dude. So I have a legendary shout out for you guys specifically. Oh and yeah. Holly specifically on one thing. So like, I grew up watching stand up like at an early age. So I feel like my ceiling for things that actually make me laugh is really high. Uh-huh. Like yeah. there's a lot of times when people will like make jokes or tell me stories. I'm like, because <laughs> it's just not like it has to be really like pow- like good. You guys crack me the fuck up. So that's legendary. <laughs> when Holly did, because if you guys don't know what true crime junks are. <laughs> Wake the fuck up. Yeah. Um, you gonna watch? And it's going to be huge in like a couple months. Just wait. Just you wait. Um, there's, we, follow, we follow an outline, and one of the things is a really tasteless joke. I love my good tasteless okay. jokes. Okay, and Holly is in charge of the tasteless jokes. And she did one about Ed Kemper, where I literally <laughs> thought, because of how funny and fucked up it was, I was going to shit my pants on that line <laughs> I thought I was dying, having a heart attack, because I was so not ready <laughs> for the joke. I was not ready, yeah. and it was like top tier, top tier. It was a great one. It was one um, that I was like, damn. And I came up with it damn. right before we yeah. aired, too, because I was thinking of so hard. I was like, what's so good? What's so good? And then it came to me. I'll tell the joke because it's fucking hilarious. So you all, you all heard of the BFG, the Big Friendly Giant. I don't remember the acronym, but what about Ed Kemper? You know, the BFG, the Big Friendly Giant, or the Big Friendly Giant, let's go fuck me. <laughs> and when she said it live, it was seamless. She said it perfectly, like, the BFG, whatever it is. And then yeah. I was like, I was like... Because oh, <laughs> I, I, yeah, I have it in my phone because I keep all the jokes. Yeah. As, Plus like, your haikus are like yeah, my oh, haikus. I, I, I'm top tier. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about doing that again because uh, oh, when you live in the Gilmer house, yeah, um, yeah. I, I remember Kai Curtis. He was like, he was like, will you write a haiku about me? I was like, yes, I'll write a haiku about you. And then I wrote a haiku about him. And I was like, can I post this on Twitter? Because I never go on Twitter, so I did. Yeah. And I still had to like, so like, I have friends on there, obviously. But like, I, I, I make this haiku for him, and then I'm like, if anyone else wants a haiku like this, I just want to <laughs> see if I can find it. If I can find your haikus, I could probably find it better because I just recently started posting. The Halloween special ones were really funny. The Halloween special <laughs> ones were pretty iconic. Yeah. Um, I'm not gonna lie, because I did it for a lot of people. I did it for like, I'm not gonna lie, I did it for this one girl who I didn't know very well, and I made her a haiku. It was a good haiku, and then she unfollowed me two months later. What a rude. 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 Yeah. I, you know. I, I'm not gonna say who it is on the stream. You know who you are. I wonder why she unfollowed. I don't know why either, because it was like, okay, first of all, we weren't really friends. Yeah. We didn't even really like. The only reason like I knew her is because she was like, uh, because at the time everyone was using Twitter a lot at the mm-hmm. Gilmer house, mm-hmm. um, and so I know that's partially why, like, because I also knew like um, one of our friends actually had, like Twitter beef with her. Oh. oh, really? Twitter beef? Well, like, not Twitter beef, but, like, some bullshit. The, the friend was Joe. So, of course, it was Joe being uh, dramatic as well. Of course, it was. But, yeah. yeah. People still have Twitter beef in 2021. I guarantee oh. Joe at least has Twitter beef. So. If he still has his Twitter, yeah. And I guarantee there will be more Twitter beef, if anything. Recently, yeah. Joe went through all of his Snapchat group chats and left every single group chat that had one of us in it. Yeah, every single... Yeah. There was one day where I got every three notifications. One. I got a whole bunch of notifications yeah. that Joe left our group chat, and I was like, whoa. But, like, we're everyone like, was what? together. Like, we were all in a room, and we all were like... Mm. And everyone was like... You just... <laughs> and we were like... <laughs> like... <laughs> mm. Mm, oh, I'm all so, right. I'm so close to finding all the haikus. No, I'm literally. I'm all. I'm also searching. He told us we were toxic. <laughs> and yeah. we're like, we're like, all right. like, yes, I'm the most toxic. You are correct. We're just trying well, to vibe. In the meantime, let me tell an epic, legendary tale Let's go. of right. me and Cass. Me? Actually, wowie. <laughs> so <Don't drag> you. <laughs> Zooey mama. <laughs> Once upon a time, it was in high school, 
watched me and Sparrow, my best friend, she had a thing about stealing traffic cones, and I had a thing about stealing wash your hand signs. So, in times of need, we would steal that specific object, and it would just, it would be like a mood booster. Yeah. So, Sparrow got her heart broken, like stomped on. So I showed up and I was like, hey, let's go to the temple, because they have hella traffic cones. <laughs> I found them all. But anyways, traffic cones. So, we go there, and I'm kind of already tripping, and she's also tripping. So... We stop, and there are just, like, eight people just chilling in the temple. And then we both just look at them, and she slowly gets out of this car. And then just grabs eight traffic cones, carries them to my car, puts them in the back seat, and then enters back into the car without breaking eye contact from just, oh, like, these that. general churchgoers. And all of the Mormons are like, uh... Uh, uh, Do we call somebody? Do we yeah. say something? Traffic someone go uh, get. Is that illegal? Yeah, someone will get Jeff from inside. Jeff will know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So then we just drive away. And as we're driving past my house, I see my neighbors, like the little kids there, they set up this lemonade stand. <laughs> And we're like, nah, fuck that lemonade stand. It's done us dirty. Oh, no. So we stop by and we steal the stand and the chair. <laughs> and we leave. Did you leave a traffic car? We left a single traffic cone. And then I get a text from Kick Acidy Ricks like 10 minutes later and it's just of the traffic cone. And she's like, hey, we saw where you left. I took it. <laughs> the traffic I took traffic cone. <laughs> they didn't even get a consultation prize. <laughs> they went out there fully devastated. <laughs> Sony's parents' house, and, and we broke one. Broke one. And they told us if we broke one, we had to replace it. And we were like, okay. But right. Home Depot didn't have them anymore. Uh, so we didn't know what talking. to do. <laughs> the neighbors, like, way down, actually had two of them on their porch. Oh, man. Two of them on their porch. And we are like, we passed it for, like, a good, like, because they, they were gone. Like, their parents were gone for, like, a good, like, weekend or something yeah. like that. And so, like, we passed them one day, and we're like, those are the chairs. Those are it. Those are the chairs. This is the same ones. Oh, uh, what should we, um, it's like it? 10 o'clock. Yeah. It's not even late. And then we're like, <laughs> should we grab it? And we're like, yeah, <laughs> let's grab it. And so we pull up. So we grab it. And it's, I mean, it's, it's a huge lawn chair. Like a huge, but you know those huge yeah, red yeah, ones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I can only picture it. Yeah. Guys. Okay, and let's, let's put, set the scene here. We're driving a Subaru Outback. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And so I don't know who it was. Somebody grabs it, brings it over, and we're like, that's not going to fit in the car. And they're like, we had to leave the truck. Oh my God. And we drive away. <laughs> and, <laughs> and the thing is, is, we drive past that place again after replacing this chair, which is also, obviously, this chair is kind of different from the other ones as well. It was sun faded. It was sun faded. And Tony's mom, like, the next day, she was like, is that a different chair? We were like, yes. <laughs> yeah. She was yeah. like, hmm, why? And we were like, well, we broke one, yeah. so we fixed it. She was like, where did you get that? And we were like, don't worry about it. <laughs> also, the video of like right before it broke, it's because they all were sitting in the chair because they're like a little bouncy and they're all like kicking each other, <laughs> yeah. trying to kick each other while bouncing on these chairs. And then all of a sudden you hear a, <laughs> and someone just breaks through it. But these neighbors replaced it. Yeah, they did. Oh. They put another red chair out, and we were always, every time we passed, we were like, should we? We did. Out the window, right? We stole yeah, another we stole chair. another chair from them. <laughs> so, before we get into haikus, yeah. I guess we'll talk about some shenanigans, because I feel like you would appreciate this. So, 
me and my friends were definitely on the hooligan vibe for a long time. Yeah. Mm, so yeah. like, it started in high school, and I can't say for legal reasons who did this, Ooh, but yeah. there was a teacher at Woods Cross that you guys may have known. I'm curious if this story had fallen down into your grade or not. A certain individual in my grade had taken a shit on his porch. What? <laughs> shit on his porch. So that kind of started the shenanigans of the group because um, that was like the top tier thing that has ever happened is this kid yeah. went and pooped on his porch. Um, <laughs> and he was very not deserving in my eyes, but, you know, in the heat of the moment, it was pretty fucking hilarious. And I remember... <laughs> I remember like going to school one day and getting pulled into this room okay. and there's like six cops and they're like, Hey, so do you know who so and so is? And I'm like, Yeah. Like, where is he at? And I'm like, I don't know. And then this time he was in like like a Bahama trip or something like that. And they're like, Okay, well here's the situation and if you tell him you could be legally charged. Like if I they told me what happened and I already knew what happened. Yeah. And they're like, I guess the teacher was like gonna go after him for shitting on his porch what and uh you charge someone yeah so like for this whole entire time he was on like a week vacation we were like legally bound that if we were to text him say like hey by the way you're coming home to no pun intended a shit storm like you're gonna get fucked like we would have gotten super in trouble in trouble but that didn't stop us from mm -hmm. causing lots of ruckus afterwards so one of the things that i never specifically did but our group did was like you take a pee in a bottle and then you tilt it against the door and then you doorbell ditch them. So when they Bastards. open their front door, you just get pee in your yeah, Bastards. fucked up. Now the stuff that I did oh my God. was in that crawl space. That door goes to a crawl space in there. There's probably like a low side box of just like window cleans of all of our local restaurants. <laughs> Wendy's, McDonald's, Top <laughs> yes! and and like we got down to science, right? Like we would go in and we'd find wherever the window clean is, right? Clean, and like we would start like peeling it, mm -hmm. and then right we're about to go, we'll have someone go up, distract them, and then like one of us would go, <coughs> and then just rip it, and then pull it and like try and stick it down there and start crumpling it up. Like I literally have ones probably from like 2013. Oh my god. <laughs> And then it escalated to my other buddy has like jazz cutouts from all because you know how like when you go to like McDonald's whatever it's like oh Joe Ingles is doing a McDonald's promotion yeah we had all of them <laughs> all of them <laughs> and then it kind of started getting into like heavier levels of us going like late at night on the weekends and like stealing people's like lawn ornaments and furniture and yeah. different no liberation yeah no liberation. it's a whole thing it's been started in salt lake yeah it's a legal issue <laughs> but i'm just saying no liberation yeah um yeah so we uh <laughs> we started doing a lot of that and uh that's amazing it's fun I don't, I've never really stolen anything aside from those fucking lawn chairs, and I have no regrets. They've replaced them two times, and now oh, they yeah. have one. They have I one lawn chair. <laughs> I still have a, a slight back injury, because we were driving around up in, like, this North Salt Lake nice house area, and there was this beautiful marble lion. <laughs> Like handcrafted marble lion. I'm like, yo, I need that. <laughs> <laughs> I need that. And I remember going up and grabbing it, and this fucker's like heavy as shit. And like, I lifted it, and I feel my back go like made like an awful noise. I'm like, oh fuck. So I like try to start like shimmy walking with this fucking thing, drop it on the sidewalk, fucks the sidewalk up. I'm <laughs> like, that was loud. We gotta go. So like, there's this fucking marble lion, kind of like. Rolling down the sidewalk. <laughs> <laughs> I get in the car. My back's all fucked up. <laughs> we gotta go. We gotta go. Okay, I have this yeah. story. Yeah. It's the night me and Sparrow both fucked up. Yeah. So, kind of similar to that, there were the three... Story? Yeah, it I is. Know it. I there know were it. three <laughs> lawn ornaments in various places that we had been looking... No, there were two. And then... Little backstory, one night, drunk off my ass, I decided to steal a bag of mulch from a neighbor yeah. of my friend's boyfriend. 
So I dragged the mulch into his apartment, and he was like, why the fuck do you have mulch? And I was like, it's for you, because when she dumps you, we're going to fill your bathtub with mulch. Damn. Damn. Savage. Savage. That's how you get them. But, um, so there was this moose head, mm. and then there was this giant ass vase. And we'd been staring at both of them for a long while. So finally it came to the night where we were going to just take home. So we stopped by the moose head in Bountiful first. We stole that, just placed that in our parents' home's, like, entryway. So it scared the shit out of both of our parents. Fuck yeah. And then we went for the base, vase down in Salt Lake. And I was so excited because this vase was, like, almost as tall as I was. It was giant and it was beautiful. And I was drunk and I was like, yes, this is my vase. So I pick it up and I'm walking down the steps and then I'm walking and I literally feel it connect with the ground and just shatter oh. from the base up so fucking loud. And I look down and I'm holding like the top and then just shards. <laughs> so I just chucked it and I was like, we gotta go. <laughs> so we ran. And then we bought them some cigarettes. Mm -hmm. And so we're walking back and Phoenix was like, whoa, there's some more mulch. We gotta get this mulch. <laughs> so she picks up a bag and then we both look and we see this guy on the porch of the house of the mulch that we are currently stealing. He's just staring at us. And so we both just like slowly walk away. But when she picked up the bag of mulch, she ripped a hole. Oh. So it was just <laughs> spilling out. And I'm watching her carry it as the top is just like emptying. <laughs> and there's just a direct trail and no one says a word. But we're moving at like 0. .0005 miles an hour. We're just so slowly walking away. And he's just staring at us, still smoking. So casual. He's probably like, what? <laughs> he's probably like, honestly, I can't. What am I going to do? Yeah. Fight two miles <laughs> for a pack of mold? <laughs> yeah. If, I, if it was me, I'd be like, they need that more than I do. Yeah, they really need that mold. I'll trip in the morning. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> Also, too, with how much she's spilling, he's probably like, I could just scoop that into the yeah. car and eat her. Honestly, it up. she spilled at least half the bag by now, and then it just slips out. And then we both, we all three of us are just, like, looking at each other, like, who's gonna make a move? <laughs> <laughs> and then me and Phoenix just run the fuck away. We're like, okay, we're out. You're like, no, we're out. And then we just run, and on the way home... I grabbed the top of this face, which was still just in the yard, as there's just like clay all over their sidewalk walkway. I still had it till about a year ago. Oh, okay. It was just in like my windowsill, this broken base top. That's pretty badass. That's, you know, what I'm so glad that you still have. I So I visited her apartment and I saw hanging up was this thing from years ago so it's always been a thing where she like will still bathroom signs and all that stuff yeah. so you know obviously like multiple them. things she really yeah. likes them and like you know in her car there would be multiple wash your hands signs stuck around it was fun I knew that her, was her thing so um I went on a vacation with Nate to the UK and we were staying with some of his friends that he met through Minecraft. Oh, I love it. <laughs> yeah. And so um, they're showing us around Gloucester, <laughs> which is like this like small town. And like there's maybe a single bus that goes around and everybody knows everybody and everybody's a drunk also. Super fun. Um, and there's like this mall. And they're like, yeah, that's the thing. Everybody goes to the mall. And we're like, let's check out this mall then. <laughs> so we go into the mall. And there's not a whole ton going on, and we're like, well, this is busy. <laughs> and we see, like, there's kind of, like, this elevator area, and we're like, oh, are we able to, like, go up to other stores and stuff like that? And they're like, well, I don't know. We usually don't go up there. And I'm like, hey, kid, want to check it out? 
And then I look up and I see there's kind of like this balcony area and there's like this flag. <laughs> this flag that's like, it's like Gloucester Mall, blah, 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 something, something, all like hanging up there. But it's kind of like, obviously like kind of like falling down, like would be easy to get down. Okay. And... <laughs> Black magic says, uh, y'all some assholes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Long time no see. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I basically am like, I want to go up and check that out. I go up and check it out. And also, this is at the time where I'm like, I'm trying to think of like, you know, gifts. We're at the mall, so I'm like, oh, gifts to get my friends like from the UK. And so I go up there and I'm like, I think I could get that down. That would be a perfect gift for Allie. It is this flag from a mall because she really loves signs and stealing things in general. And I feel like it would be somewhat sentimental. And so I do it. I take the flag down. And in the moment, there's actually, there is a security guard up there talking on the phone. And it's like, she like turns around and it's like in the moment, like the flag is falling down to the ground. She hears like the noise. She like turns around and I'm like, Well, the flag just fell. Right? Yeah, like I don't. Oh my gosh, what was that? Because it, it was also it's like the in between. There were like two elevators, and it was like this little walkway, and you could kind of see like the mall all from it. And so it was obviously kind of like a little standpoint that I think security guards would go up to to kind of like survey the area and stuff. And so she was up there, and she's like on the phone. She kind of like looks, and she's like, "I'm not sure you're supposed to be up here." And I go, "Ah, really? Oh." That's crazy. I'm American, so <laughs> I don't know this. I what? And it's like, like panicking behind me. Like, and she's like, yeah. And then she's like, uh, and then she like wanders off. She leaves us. Uh. She leaves us. And we're like, funny. <laughs> and then I'm like, Nate, open the bag. <laughs> over the bag. And we shove it in there as tightly as we can get. I'm like, we gotta go. <laughs> What's up, XL Diamond? One XL day will Diamond. come in and Forrest will be here. I miss watching him like hot mustard out of your beard. <laughs> you never made it happen. One of these days. One of these days. One Is this the same person days. who wanted to like mayo out of your beard? He wanted Forrest to like mayo out of my beard. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, mustard would be much more appealing. Yeah. No. Just honey true. mustard? Honey mustard. Yeah. See, the problem is mayonnaise looks like jizz. Yeah. I wanted... Cute. That implies that he did that to my face. And, yeah. I just... and then now he's sucking it off. Yeah. I mean, he's being a gentleman. Yeah. He's yeah. cleaning up after yeah. himself. I mean, you know? I appreciate that. It seems like nice. a... you, know, you know who you should have this conversation with is um, the next time you have Kaylee Butt on the stream, um, ask her about the shopping cart and doorbell ditching. Okay. Um, because she, like, <laughs> she, at one point, her and her friend, I think, <laughs> They were did harassing it, they their it. neighbor <laughs> by continually leaving a a grocery shopping cart on their doorstep and doorbell ditching them. I love that. And That's then so when when they started like when it started like escalating, um, and the neighbor was freaking out about it. They started printing out photos of shopping carts and taping it to the door. That's, <laughs> that's so God. fucking great. That's pretty savage. That's, yeah, that's... you should you should ask her. So, about it. <laughs> I'll tell one that. I've been reluctant to tell on a podcast because, like, I still feel like this family would come and, like, try and press charges. What? So, Whoa. we'll call them the Smiths. All right. And they live up in Eaglewood, like, around Eaglewood Golf Course slash North Salt Lake area. Okay. I don't know why specifically this family got targeted by us. I know that there was a reason. But I don't know personally what that reason was. Okay. And what it started out was a string of weekends in a row, we would go and just doorbell ditch and harass the shit out of these people. Like, nonstop. Okay. Do they have dogs? I don't know. No, well, if you didn't hear them, they did. <laughs> <laughs> so, it was like one of our group of friends would go up there and do it. And then, like, the Saturday, someone would go up there and do it. And then Sunday, someone would go grab it. It was just like constant harassment. And I don't remember the reason why. Okay. And then it boiled down to this one night where we all got together. There was like 15 of us. And we laid out this whole entire plan, right? Like we were going to go throw like packets of sauce on the front porch. It's like if they came out, they stepped on the sauce. Like we had 
a whole bunch of shit set up. Shit that probably not great to talk about. And we we had like there was gonna be a group of call like yellers at the top. So when they yell, when they walked out the door, we would just start screaming shit at them. And then we had another group of people down there like just doing stuff. Well, as an individual, I can't I can't use names. Someone's walking up to be the person who goes in doorbell ditches because we're like, oh, like it's kind of intimidating because yeah. like at this point these people are like ready to fucking go. Yeah, yeah. on high alert. They're, they're the dad ready. of the family was outside. No, around the corner of their house apparently, oh, and I was no. a, I was I was a screamer because I just I didn't have the balls to go down there to be honest with everybody. Mm-hmm. And all I remember him screaming something, and then a bat <gasps> through the air, and it hitting something, and then just like clinging on the ground. So we all thought that the person who went down there just got fucking got, hit with a bat. Yeah. So we're like screaming, like you know, doing our like job. Actually screaming. Yeah. Though. And then like <laughs> we see the group that went down there like running up, and like they're like go go go, go. And, like so we book it. And he didn't get hit, but he tells the story as, like, he turned around and saw him, and that bat missed his head by probably, like, eight inches. Oh, my oh God. Like, that guy was out to, God. like, fucking murder. He's up of blood. Yeah. And uh, still to this day, I don't know why we chose that house. And I don't know why, like, <clears throat> they tried to go to all the high schools and figure out who was harassing them. <gasps> oh. And Dedication. like they sound just from like how they reacted like a house that needed to be targeted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to put that out there. That's, okay, so like all I really remember and heard about why their house got targeted is the son cuz like we were just we were memers kind of like right when memeing was coming up. Mm-hmm. I just remember like our kind of guy who was like setting us up He's like, yeah, their son's a goober. And that's all, the only thing that I ever got was like, he was just a goober. Just a goober. He's a goober. A, so I don't know that's why. a great description of people, just being a goober. And we never like, for the record, aside from like sauce packets and like shit like that, we never damaged their property. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. we were just doing it to harass and they really like, like you said, Great house to pick, because, like, I remember there <laughs> was even is. an announcement at one time, like, people were like, hey, if you know so-and-so family, like, and you've heard any rumors lately, like, come and talk to us in the office. And our group was shut fucking lip. Like, everyone's like, yeah, well, that was no. who the hell was that? Yeah. What? Like, That's other crazy. people caught inklings of, like, maybe yeah. it was us, but like that was it. fuckers never knew. When I was in high school... My, I had a small group. There were literally, it was me and two other girls, right? And, like, we had, like, other friends, too, but, like, we were the main girls, like, we were the main group, and then we had, like, we each had, like, our own friends, basically. And, like, sometimes those group intermingled, similar to, like, this group, right? Like, we have, like, our own group of friends, and then we all have our own friends, too. Same thing, right? So, anyways, um, we used to, like... I don't want to incriminate myself, but this is a long, long time Everything ago. Everything is allegedly yeah. on Top Shelf. Yeah. I know. Oh, exactly. Allegedly. allegedly. <laughs> These are all just stories. I'll cut the video so, and you guys will never hear it again. Two people are watching. I'm not really worried <laughs> about them. But um, we used to, like, specifically our ex-boyfriends, like, it was specifically them. Like, we wouldn't just choose random people. It was, like, specifically our ex-boyfriends. We would, like anchovy their yards and like draw dicks in window paint like on all the cars in the driveway and like on the windows of the house and shit and one time at prom um my friend and i and actually stony too because we were like you know i don't we were like a little power couple back then i mean we are now obviously yeah, it's obvious, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> but like back then you know baby little stony we're like at prom and we're like we should draw dicks on all the cars in the parking lot. We were like, yes, we should do that. <laughs> we didn't do all of them because it was like kind of towards the end of prom, so like some people were leaving, so we had to be kind of secretive. But we got a couple of them, and like definitely some people drove their parents' cars to prom, right? Yeah. So we, do. we did that. We drew a whole bunch of dicks on people's cars in the parking lot. Then we sat in our car and waited. 
<laughs> Love it. And the best thing I ever fucking saw was this kid coming out and fucking screaming <laughs> about someone throwing a dick on his car. And we're like sitting in the car right next to him. And he's like, who the fuck would do this? This is so rude. This is vandalism. <laughs> and like they're on the windows like it's a window pane it's gonna come. like we didn't do anything like actually yeah. damaging mm-hmm. <laughs> i just remember he looked like he was about to have a fucking aneurysm or something because he was so mad that someone drew a dick on his car <laughs> now you guys all went to Cross, right no yeah. no 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 i went to bountiful I went to Salt Lake School for the Performing Arts. Oh, Whole okay. different genre of school. I, yeah. I met a girl who went to that school, and she was a psycho. Yeah, but they're then, all fucking but crazy. Then, but then later on, like she, we were like pals, like but like you know, long distance pals, because like we weren't like real life friends, but like we'd met in this one specific place, and then like we like were Facebook friends and stuff. And um, then she had a baby, oh. and I was like, oh my god, it was like teen, it was like watching Teen Mom. No. Yeah. In real life, I was stalking her <laughs> Facebook like every single day because this was like well, like 2012. I'm like stalking her Facebook every single day, being like, "What's, what's going on? What's, what's happening?" But you two did. Yeah, yeah we we went to to did now. you guys ever get on the roof? No. <gasps> did you guys ever get on the stage inside the top of the stage? I got in t- inside of the top of the stage. Yeah. Was there any pictures? Not that I know. Not that I know of. Was There's there lots like... of uh, lots of pictures up there that we left for the really? the next generations. That's like okay. I so... think you're because qu- you're like two years older than him, three years older yeah. than me. Yeah, 2012 graduated. And I graduated 15, and you graduated at 16. Mm-hmm. So that was quite a bit of time. Yeah, yeah. For... That makes me think of so me and my friend. Um, uh, he was taking like a one of those like graphic art. Uh, classes and everything and we thought it was so fucking funny to um he would like create just random things like one it was like a taco or something and then he would type in believe underneath it and what we did is we printed out hundreds of them and posted them all over the school and like would like put them everywhere and we would do it with every new project that he had basically every single project he had he would put some like quote like power to you underneath some random object and then like we would post it all over the place until they literally had to start making announcements being like you're not allowed to put things on the walls without uh getting permission first that's pretty great and i still hear all of that we're pooping on your land we have to skid down it's almost midnight in just a little bit yeah can i tell one story about this also all made me think of a story that i have with Allie. Can I tell one story real quick? Yes, tell Just because I think this is the most legendary I've ever been. So I got in tight with the janitor at my school, and it was this old elementary school turned into a performing arts space. I've, I have two stories to tell here. It was creepy as hell because it was actually used for a old horror movie, mm. I can't tell you which one, but they used the basement and the tunnels built under the school, right? So, I actually went into these tunnels because the janitor on his last day, he was like, hey, come with me, I'll show you the tunnels. And I was like, down, let's fucking go. So I went in these tunnels, creepy as fuck, fuck right just an eerie feeling it was dark but it was whatever a couple like a school year goes past and my tech director is like hey we found a crawl space like up above the lighting board in the auditorium come check this out with me so we go up there and we find an entire room with old like the weirdly gravelly kids chairs in bright colors mm. oh yeah yeah those set up in a half circle and then a bed that's clearly been slept in and a bunch of old children's toys <laughs> set up as if they were being played with and then there was a room past that with the door closed and i went towards it and my teacher was like don't fucking don't do it 
And I was like, okay, we'll check it out later. And he was like, yeah. So I went down. The next day, he was like, hey, guys, we can't go up there. And I was like, okay, but what was in that room? And he was like, nothing. Room doesn't exist. To this day, I've yet to learn what was in that room. But every single person I've asked has just been like, nothing. Go away. How hard would it be to get in? Pretty hard now. The updated security. Damn. It used to be so easy. My classmate and I literally fell asleep there after rehearsal. We woke up at 1 a.m. because no one checked. <laughs> That's how easy it was. When I was in high school, um, a couple of boys from my like graduating class tried to do like their senior prank or whatever, whatever and their senior prank was to, okay, well, if you didn't go to Bountiful High, now you know. Uh, uh, there at the end of the year, there's this thing called like the I don't remember what it's called. It's something. It's called something. But basically, like it's all of the classes go against each other in like a whole bunch of games, oh, and yeah. the winner wins the golden toilet. Yeah. But like it's supposed to be rigged so that like the seniors win every year. For yeah. some reason, when I was a senior, which like my graduating class was like pretty shit. Not gonna lie. Uh, I'm fucking cool. I was fucking lost. cool, but like we kind of sucked. Not gonna lie. Okay, <laughs> I'm cool. No one else I graduated with is cool. <laughs> Anyways, point is the juniors ended up winning, and like the juniors aren't supposed to win. Right. Yeah. Like there's no reason. Like they like really pushed it that they won, and like they did. Like fair and square, they won. But like the seniors are supposed to. It's yeah. a whole. F everyone knows that. Yeah. Like if yeah. there's games at the end of the year, the seniors are supposed to win. Yeah. It's their last year; they're supposed to win. My yeah, graduating year, glory. we did not win. And I just remember I was sitting there watching these games, and I was like, "This is bullshit. I don't want to watch this." I didn't watch the whole games. I left because why would I fucking sit there and watch my class eat shit? <laughs> we were about to graduate in three months. Okay. Anyways, yeah, yeah. point is, I leave. Whatever. It doesn't matter. I didn't watch them. I just heard later on that we lost, and I was like, that's bullshit. But anyways, um, so this a couple, of, a group of boys from my graduating class decided that their senior prank would be to steal said golden toilet. Well, the golden toilet is not actually awarded to, like, a class or, like, a person. It's basically, like, put in, like, a, like a display case, and then, like, it says, like, the graduating class that won, right? So class of whatever won the toilet for for this year so in 2015 the glass of the class of 2016 won the toilet and we were like <laughs> it said it too it like says it on the fucking thing and oh, like no. the people who like participated in the games like get to sign the toilet and like it's a whole thing it's like it's fucking stupid okay well anyways so they decided that they would just steal this golden toilet and that was their senior prank nice. well in order to do that they would have to get into the school after hours so what did they do? They stole a fucking master key to the school. That's um, genius. Yeah. Genius, yeah. Except for the fact that they didn't think that, you know, I don't know, it's a fucking high school. Um, it's also 2015 um, in this era, right? It's 2015. Mm -hmm. And um, obviously the school has a security system aside from the fucking key. Yeah. Obviously. <laughs> obviously. That's why you always need a hacker. When my grandpa, my grandpa told me a story about how he broke into Bountiful High when he was a senior, and it was, like, hilarious, but, like, they had, like, security guards that guarded it, because obviously, in 1975, they didn't have, <laughs> they did not yeah. have security systems, so you could just get into the school through an open window, uh, or a master key, or whatever it is. My grandpa told me a story how he climbed out of the top of the school because he climbed through the gym ceiling to get out before getting caught and he didn't get caught and i'm like well right you drove away in your fucking camaro and no one saw you right okay he did not get arrested these boys did get arrested because obviously they like they walked in get to the toilet start bringing the, there's like 12 of them also there was a big group of them who fucking takes this many people to get into and grab a toilet Let's and get out toilet. that's a max a six person job yeah max, max. exactly at least so, five so you can get away in the car easy. Yeah. 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 Did they have yeah. a spotter or anything? I don't fucking know. Probably not. Because they don't like it. stupid. So like they curb dirt it right yeah. in. And just, uh, yeah. Well, they just all walk in. They're like, yo, we could all lift it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Literally. 
they all steal his toilet. They're walking out, obviously get caught, right? Mm-hmm. And they're like, what the fuck, guys? And they're like, oh, we just wanted to get this toilet because we wanted to win it that bad. And they're Taking like, L's. It took a lot of L's. That <laughs> took a lot of L's. Luckily, one of their friends' dads was, like, a lawyer and, like, yeah. got them acquitted. But, like, a lot of them were, like, this close to not being able to go on their missions for oh, having, shit. like, misdemeanors and stuff. Damn. <laughs> I mean, it okay. is what it is. Well, I'm going to head out. I got okay. something for you, though. Yeah. You had a story to tell. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. While well, you're like, oh, she wants to show her nipples. Oh, obviously yes, not on stream. Yeah, not no, on stream, but, but I want to show you. Yeah, yeah. Show us the nipples. <laughs> Oh, yeah. the, the story. Okay, so the story basically is um, me, Allie, and the other girl that we have talked about. This is uh, also just kind of like a good shouts out to how chaotic as high school students we were. Um, oh, that's what well, um, And uh, I don't know why we did this, honestly. I don't, but I remember the specific instance. Um, there's a lot of instances where things happened time. like this, but the thing is, is we were like, why don't we dress up as men? Okay. And so we give each other, like, beards and five o'clock shadows, and we, like, put our hair on, and we, like, you know, we get all very manly men, and we're like, hmm, yes. It's, like, now, I don't know, 2 a.m., and we're like, hmm, we're all dressed as men, what do we do? We grab a box of tampons. And we go out into the neighborhood, wandering, and looking. <laughs> keep in mind, it was like summer. Yeah. We actually, I remember, we went out with this intention. Yeah. We, we grabbed the tampons for a Oh, reason. I think we even specifically got the biggest box of tampons we could find <laughs> to do this. <laughs> because we knew sprinklers would be on in the morning. Yeah. Mm. Uh-huh. <laughs> and we decided to tampon specific people's, uh... And then also random people's lawns as well. In our man <laughs> costumes. <laughs> Dressed as men. We're obviously, we're like, this is like what? Junior year of high school? Oh, not even. Like this sophomore? Was like, this was, I think, freshman because uh, this was the first time we actually hung out. <laughs> yeah, this and was And we the ate first. brownies with knives because yes. you didn't have forks. <laughs> well, and then we continued on. Um, actually, um, the other girl just commented on one of my tweets recently, and I was like, I just ate ice cream with a fork, and she's like, why not chopsticks? <laughs> it's because it's a thing that we basically decided after that night um, that we were not allowed to eat anything with its designated utensil. Yeah. And we had to eat everything with just a really hard utensil for some reason. And there was a thing about ramen and brownies. Yeah, yeah. Because that was kind of what we ate that first time we (laughs) hung out. And also, it was at the time where... Were you the one who didn't know what a dick looked like? No, that was Tess. Oh, yeah. She didn't know what a dick looked like, and I had to draw it in the brownie batter to be like, there we go, because I was like, I can look it up for you. And she's like, no. (laughs) And I was like, it looks kind of like this. And she's like, disgusting. (laughs) You did end up looking it up oh. because we were watching a movie. Yeah, <laughs> we were watching a movie and it made a joke about balls dropping, and we literally paused the movie and we had like a three-person like oh, little sit God. down. This like, might does that actually happen? The summer before high school. Yeah, the summer before, right before high school started, uh, and we were like, "Hey, do balls actually drop?" And Cass was like, I'll text my friend till now. And he still he still has that text. He had a <laughs> screenshot of it. And he he posted it years later. Years later. And was like, I still think about this conversation. And I spell <laughs> testicles wrong. Also <laughs> in this conversation. And I asked him and I go, hey, is it true that you're uh <laughs> testicles? That's what it like said huh. testicles wrong. <laughs> And he's like, excuse me? <laughs> and this is also one of the first text conversations I had with him in the first place. Because he was originally our other friend's friend, but I didn't know anybody going to our school. And so she's like, here, here are some people that I know, and all that stuff. And so we've only met, like, well, actually, we had never met before then, but I texted him a couple times before. So I asked him that. But that night... We have a bunch of tampons, we tampon places, then we go to the park that's right near my house. And we're, you know, I don't know what we're even doing. We're like dancing around in the dark. 
um, at 2 a.m. in our men costumes, and then all of a sudden we see this light shining on us, and we look, and it is a cop car. <laughs> and we were like, all like, <laughs> obviously like young young girls, but like with fake beards on. <laughs> 2 a.m. in a park, and we're like, oh, and he like steps on the car, and he's like, and it like shines <laughs> on his face, and he's obviously very confused, and he's like, what's going on? <laughs> and we're like, oh, uh, we're, we're just headed home from a party. <laughs> it's the middle of the week at 2 a.m. in a park. Obviously we were, and he's like, and we clearly, like, all of our stuff was just Spread yeah. out. We've clearly been there a second. I think we literally were, though, like, <laughs> dancing around. The door. That's literally what we were doing. We were, like, having a little dance break from tamponing somebody's house. And <laughs> this is my favorite part. This was before we started drinking. This yeah, was we're completely sober. sober. We're completely <laughs> sober. And this, for some reason, just came to light. We're like, yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> And so then the police was like, uh, the police officer was like, hmm, well, you should probably, it's uh, 2 a 2 a.m., you guys should probably start heading home. We're like, haha, yeah, we were. <laughs> Duh. Nerd. But yeah, what? Uh-huh. And then we start like walking, and he obviously like slowly kind of like follows us until we get back to the house, and we're like, oh, God, what a buzzkill. <laughs> My favorite thing was that the third girl defended the cop. <laughs> She's like, this guy is like, understandable. He, she was like, he's so nice. He was so sweet to just let us go, and we were both like, fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. No. <laughs> like, fuck that guy. She we had like, so no. many more tampons to use. <laughs> he was doing his job. <laughs> I mean, you could have gone home and then, like, waited and, like, I mean, I think that's uh, what we decided we wanted to do, and then I think we fell asleep. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. It was 2 a.m. So yeah, it was 2 a.m. It was 2 a.m. Then, that was also Obvious. during the time that I was that being was forced to go to church, <laughs> and they announced... Later in that church, that they're like, somebody is vandalizing the Helens. <laughs> Who is it? And I'm like, uh, you're sitting there and you're like, that's crazy. Who is that? Yeah, oh, what that's insane. <laughs> oh my god. But then I'm Same. pretty sure everybody knew it was us because we were kind of the hooligans. We, we were. were. We were um, the hooligans in our neighborhood. 100%. I was hated. Oh. I am still hated. I'm, yeah, oh, I literally, I'll pull up into my parents' neighborhood, and they all are just staring at me. One time when oh I threw God. a party, they came into the backyard. Oh. Oh, yeah. When right? we went yeah. to Vegas, Cass's brother had his missionary farewell the oh, next day. Oh. We were there for Cass's birthday. <sighs> my 21st birthday, by the way. Your 21st birthday. And at, like, 3 a, like 5 a.m., we get home. Cass had a flight home at 7 a.m. so she could make it home for her brother's missionary farewell. Showed up, fucking drunk. <laughs> yeah, One fucked day. up, fucked up, and like also blisters. I can barely walk. <laughs> blisters all over my feet from the heels I was wearing that night. Oh. I'm limping, wearing the same dress I was wearing that <laughs> night, and I'm like, and all of his friends like look at me and they're like, half of them are super high. Also, they're like, they look at me and they're like, nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and you're like. I literally got in a plane at 7 a.m. and I was out till 5. It was 6 a.m. It was actually 6 a.m. So literally that, I think you I slept. You didn't go to bed. No, I, I laid down for 30 minutes and then I was like, Allie was like, I'll wake you up. I remember. <laughs> the, the same no, night, I like, think I fell when asleep we, immediately. When, yeah. when we went to bed, I fell asleep with fucking eyelashes on, with my <laughs> yeah. shoes on, in yeah. my dress. I fell asleep on top of the blanket that Holly and I, like, in the <laughs> bed that Holly and I were sleeping in. And then Cass had to get up at 6 a.m. to go to a fucking flight to get to her brother's missionary farewell. And we were all like, that sucks. Because they know? didn't want him to share his day with somebody else. <laughs> That is came, why. And then he came home early. <laughs> and then he came home fucking early. Yeah. And I will say though, that same night, I I saw Cass left and I was like, oh, and I was wearing so I bought this dress from Forever 21. And it was a one-time use because the zipper broke. The zipper broke as soon as I bought it, and I was so fucking sad. Because it was a cute tight 
leather dress, and I was like, I was stuck. Forever Twenty One the other day. I want to go buy it again. <laughs> Anyways, the zipper broke, and I was like, okay, well, tonight is the only night that I want to be able to wear it because yeah. when you zip it up, I can't zip it down myself. Bella was the only one that could get me out of that dress, and she was fucking out. So <laughs> I wake up and I'm like, I can't wear this anymore. And I'm like, find my, I found scissors because I was cross stitching on the way there, as I do. And I'm like midway cutting into the bathroom so I make sure I don't cut my coochie off or some shit. And like, I open the door and Cass is just like on the toilet and I'm like, oh hey. And she's <laughs> cutting off her dress and I'm like, it's six in the morning. And I'm like, oh dude, what's up? And you're like, couldn't get it out. <laughs> I couldn't and I was like, you know, honestly, power to you. Because <laughs> I was like, I'm going to cut this dress. And Bella's like, you're not going to cut that dress. I'm going to get you out of it. And I was like, okay. So she fell asleep. And I was like, <laughs> I'm cutting the dress. I didn't, we were going to go gamble. And I literally sat down. And I was like, I'm just going to sit down for a second because my feet hurt. They were like, okay. Fucking out. 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 I wake up at like 10 a.m. and my eyelashes are still on. And like, I'm like fully dressed. And I was like, who the fuck did we fall asleep like this? And they're like, you did. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's wrap it up. Oh, yes. We have the book club next week. Yep. Yes. Those of you can make it. We're doing Silver so Linings so Playbook. I've been listening to it. Yep. I'll be coming. Yes. Woo! I'll watch the movie for sure. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Okay. And then um, True Crime Junks tomorrow. Yeah, True Crime Junks Lonely Hearts episode. Yep, we'll Excited announced. for that one. Valentine's. Oh, I love that. Um, and then I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was I, on my mind. I heard it. My heart just was like, oh, oh my god. <laughs> um, and yeah, Happiest Meds is sponsor. Go check them out. And yes. then sign. Mm. You like signs, but there's a deal with this one. Okay. <sighs> if you ever come across my name on a street sign, you have to snag it and give it to me. Deal. I've already stolen a parking sign from Woods Cross. Yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The pole right oh, out. that's lit as hell. That, oh, that's yes. dope. Yes. Can't let them have signs like that up. No. Yeah. Excuse no, no, no. me. Not allowed. Bye, everybody. Bye.